What's up, Beastfires? Beastfire One here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another live stream. How's everybody doing today? Today, we are coming back. We are going back into some Dream Daddy action. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna do, as I said on Twitter, we're gonna be doing Hugo's route. And I, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's, I, I love, I, I love this game, and I, as, let's get it. Matthew, let's get it. Let's get it. Leonard Golub first. Unfortunately not, my friend. Unfortunately not. <laughs> you were beaten out by my good friend Matthew. But welcome, welcome, welcome both to both of you. Welcome, welcome. We're going to be doing some Dream Daddy action. It's early in the morning. Uh, I usually I do streams early this morning because of complications in the afternoon. And I don't know how they'll exactly turn out. But I'm here now. And we're going to be streaming some Dream Daddy Oh yeah, YOLO. <laughs> yeah, sure. You only uh, live on th the Earth once. I don't know where I was going with that. Let's just play some Dream Daddy. Hey, Selena, welcome, welcome back, welcome to the live stream. Welcome to another stream. How you doing? How's everybody doing? And just as a quick reminder to everybody, I am multi-streaming on YouTube. Uh, Twitch and Mixer. So if you want to follow my Twitch and Mixer page, they're both uh, Beast Fighter One. If you search it up there. So, yeah, I've ga I've actually gained a bit of a following on Mixer as of right now. So it's it's pretty good. Hello everybody on Mixer. And surprisingly, it's holding like the connection for everything is holding up pretty well. Okay, so what do you say I bring this up? Hunko. <laughs> yeah. Bring this up a little bit. Okay, is that good? Is that good, everybody? Can everybody hear that wonderful song? I'm gonna wait for a response here. I'll switch to. Yeah. There he is. There they are. Look at all of them. Look at them all. Hey, Dad Tip number 75. Call someone if you're thinking about them. They probably want to hear from you. So it's very true. I picked this over a Cuphead stream. Oh, Cuphead. I want to do a Cuphead stream soon. I really want to. But I have so many live stream series going on right now that I need to... I need to... I need to put my, put my money where my mouth is and just finish up some of these... Some just some of them, not all of them, because I really want to do Cuphead and I really want to do A Hat in Time. So that's the thing that's that's supposed to happen. Those are things that's supposed to happen. Can't hear the song. Okay, I'll turn it up just a little bit. I'll turn it up just a just a tad, just a tad bit. Just for you, Selena. I'll put it. I'll put it at eight. I guess. I'll put it at 8, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Men's had a lap today, but it was only 20 minutes. Oh, man. <laughs> so you just you bust all the way there from nothing. Can't hear the song. I, I turned it up. I did turn it up a little bit. I'll turn it up just a little bit more. I'll put it at 9. If, 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 everything is, if everything's okay, then I'll just leave it. If not, if... If everything is okay going forward, then I'll keep it. Just let me know if the audio is too loud or too soft throughout this. Sounds alright on... Everything sounds alright on my end. Who's gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? <laughs> okay, let's just, let's just start it up. Let's start it up. No more dilly-dallying. Yeah, let's get it. Let's continue. Uh, this was our epilogue. Should I load this? This was a this was an auto save. What happens if I load this? Use your hips when throwing. Very wonderful advice. Always carry a pocket knife as well. <laughs> That's the number one. Uh, okay. Too quiet for me. Okay. Leonard, okay, I'll I'll turn it up just a, just a little bit more. Okay, I'll put it at ten. 
Okay, this is just those are just the credits. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just I just get the the, the 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 stream's not over yet. Stream's not over yet. I was just wondering what would happen if I clicked on my last save. Then I have to start. I, have to, I actually have to start a new game. Eat a lot of broccoli, kids. Oh, look at that. Oh, we get to see Craig again. Yay! Go Flapjacks! Oh, he's so hot. Oh, oh, he's so beautiful. But he's not who we're going for today. We already got him. We gotta, we gotta go for our, our boy Hugo. Okay, let's uh, streamer safe mode. Got it. Okay, new game. That's <laughs> it. Dad, Dad, wake up. Uh, let's uh, let's do five more minutes. You said that five minutes ago, and also ten minutes ago. I finally opened my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Yikes, dad breath. Go brush your teeth. And we get to... Huh? Hey. Alright, so let's make a different dad this time. Let's make a totally different dad than what we did before. Okay, let's do... Okay, for the bod... Mm, if I'm going with my appearance now... Probably... Probably... Hmm. Probably let's do let's let's do a big dad. Let's do that one. Let's do that. Let's do a big dad. Like this. That that's looking pretty good. <laughs> and skin tone. I'm trying to match. Eh, whatever. That's good. Okay, head. A round head. Ooh, a really chiseled head. Hmm. <laughs> shadow. Oh, for oh five o'clock shadow. Hmm. Ooh. Look buff. Look all. Look like all mice. It's Hugo time. Yes, Selena. Look buff. Hmm. I, I don't want to go. I want. I don't want to make myself. I don't want to flatter myself. Hmm. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with big. Big dad. Uh. And for the face. Eh, kind of. Kind of smooth like that. That's. That's. Kinda, that looks good. Oh hair. Yes. Oh. Oh. Should we. Should we do Goku? I'm doing. I. I. I'm, I want to do Goku. <laughs> this is the hair I had last time. Uh, new Goku. Goku hair. Space warrior hair. Not to get. Still don't hear the song. Okay. Okay. Letter. I'll, I'll turn up one last time. Turn up to fifteen there. Keep in mind, I, you also have to. I also have to hear myself over the game as well. So, if it, if everyone's all right with the volume now. Then please let me know. That's why. That's why I have you guys. So you could. So I have a wonderful community that helps me when I need it. Okay, I'm gonna go with Goku hair. Ooh, should we change the color of the hair? Should we change it to bright, like like pea yellow? <laughs> Goku's hair is like black, isn't it? Like just like that. Let's 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 do that. Yeah, I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that. Eyes. Ooh, big anime eyes. Or like really surprised eyes, or like the squinty eyes, or really tired eyes. A tired Goku. Like this is what Goku would look like if he like thirty years from now, <laughs> when he's like out of commission. <laughs> uh, I like that. I like that. Um, let's give him. Let's give him those. Let's give him some. Let's give him some blue. Some baby blue eyes. There we go. So there, that's that, that looks nice. A button nose, a Greek nose. What kind of nose does Do Goku have? Give him a round nose. <laughs> uh, B or B. All right, Leonard. Uh, mouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Um, I like. <laughs> All right, let's go with the. Uh, let's get. I like the smile. I like the smile. Uh, let's give you some, some blue lipstick. There you go. That looks fantastic. <laughs> Bushy brows, Danny brows, high arc brows. Oh, I like the wizard brows. Give it like a. <laughs> Flaming, flaming brows. Oh, man. 
That's awesome. Goku's been out of been out of commission. Man's been dead since time. Well, I guess this is what he looks like now. I guess this is what he looks like. Facial hair. Should give him some facial hair. Good full on like then you can't see his lips. Okay, we gotta compromise. <laughs> okay. Okay. Does it change the color of this? No. Okay, it's just a little a little stubble. Let's let's give you let's give you a little bit of this. Let's have everything like mismatch like freaking Mario. Um let's see, what's a good contrasting color? This is nice. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Royal for a war stash. My resident. <laughs> okay, so glasses. Heck yeah, let's go with some some real some 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 of these. <laughs> some visor glasses. Let's have the yes. Yes. Some really really white. There we go. It's like you're going freaking skiing. Piercing, heck yeah. Give me that. On the ear. <laughs> this is looking so ridiculous. Uh, yeah, keep it like that. Yes, clothing. Oh, yes. Uh, let's put... Oh, Bergy. Bergy looks so good. Maybe this. Maybe these ones. Comme de pairs. Plain suit, kitten suit. Um, I, I, I like to go with Bergy. Bergy looks nice. All right. Looking good, daddy? That's looking good. All right. Name that dad. Uh, your name is... Um, go... 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 Go Congo. <laughs> uh... Uh... It's, it's Supremo. <laughs> go Congo Supremo. <laughs> uh, okay, is everybody good with that? Everybody good with, uh, Go Congo Supremo? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I love this. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh boy. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Daddy is not looking good. Well, Selena, Selena, I need to change it up a little bit, alright? <laughs> Go Congo Supremo has to look his very best. For you know, cause he he doesn't he he's not out there fighting uh fighting Vegeta no more. He has to you know look his Go Kongo Supremo. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, I'm I'm actually happy with this. Uh, if <laughs> if you guys don't like it, I I'm sorry, but I like Go Kongo Supremo as he is. Let's be that dad. <laughs> <coughs> oh man, I'm making myself laugh too much. Falsely packing. <laughs> Every time he slides in, I'm gonna be so like surprised. I get most of it done, I think. Searching around the room looks like he did a pretty good job. Wait, Straggler. What is what's in it? What's in the box? Is he all photos? I think we we've done this before, so I'll go through this really quickly. It's the coolest baby I've ever seen. So I did mother and I, so let's do father and I. Your father and I could get you to stop crying once to put the sunglasses on you. Whenever we tried to take them off, you start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. Halloween, were you maybe four? That dragon costume. Dragon and the princess. You definitely repressed that memory. This is your horse face. Actually, like, I like this phase of Amanda. Now she's, uh, I mean, she's, she's pretty now, but she's, she's... Something about that cowgirl outfit. It's really cute. The scumminess manifesto had a chance back in the day. I took off into the distance and reminisced about that rat horn section. Hey, it's MP. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I'll never stop mixing those two up. Dad, Emma R's been my best friend since I was like seven. <laughs> it's like, I've been, I'm the worst dad. Uh, blah, 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 uh, whoops. Oh, right, Emma P. That was the one who, um, tried to steal people's pets. Let's do that one. No, Dad, that was Emma S. She moved to Kentucky three years ago. I miss her. Is there a different Emma? Does she know like five different Emmas? I also miss my hamster, Sir Hamington the Brave. Anyway, I gotta show this to MR later. She'll get a kick out of it. First pho photography art award you want. Twenty dollar gift card to McFridays. Is that a mix? Of, that's a mix of McDonald's and TGI Fridays. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. I finally decide to break the silence. That's a nice photo. This is the day. I guess, in this sense, I guess the day we were, uh, we adopted you. 
It's kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot. But of course I was freaking out, and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man, he holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen him. He says, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. Aw, oh, man. He was right, you know. I stared at the picture for longer, maybe too long. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. So, no one really... No one knows what happened to either the mother or the father. Like, did they, like, did they, um, die at some, did they die or did they, like, I don't know what happened. I, I, I assume it was a passing, it was, he passed away, but. Come on, Pops, we gotta finish packing. Moving that won't wait forever. You're right. Pounce the card, so many memories here. You have very strong arms. Remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You're a very imaginative child. Remember when I broke the back window, but, yeah, we get it, Amanda, you break stuff. There'll be plenty more stuff to break. You ready? I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away. Okay, so... So what? Sell me on our new cool pad. She's the announcer voice. Now on beautiful scenic downtown Mabel Bay. Our new house features... <laughs> uh, multiple places. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. What a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the week. You sleep more than anyone I know. I admit my faults, Pops. Keep, I keep it real. Keep it, keep it real, bro. Keep it... Keep it, keep it 100%. Whoops, that's, that's, uh, that was, that was the intro. I heard the intro in that one. Let me just turn that off. Whoops, keeping it real, bro. That's what, that's what I meant to do. Uh, anyway, it's, it's, it's also smaller than the last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. Amanda, you do know how to parallel park at some point. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I, I think I'm going to skip through this a little bit. Unless you're high school, I'm practically dust. You're a real. Don't you dare. Senior. I know where this is going, Dad. Definitely a widower. Yeah, that's what that's what I that's what I was thinking. Citizen. I'm gonna just ignore that. But I won't forget it. But what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well we need to forge a path through the solid wall boxes. Pops. Clear your jets, you have to promise me you're gonna take a break and explore your neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. And then we arrive. Hiya! And with a swift kick for Amanda, the for, uh, for sale sign is no more. Nice form, Sweet Pea. I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. Man, all that karate chopping talking me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Uh. I need some coffee ASAP. So, if we unpack first, that's Joseph. If we get some coffee, that's Matt. Matt, and we also meet Hugo, right? And then the dogs is, um, Brian. Let's go get some coffee. You gotta get my hands on a nice cup of old bean juice. I'm gonna, or I'm gonna be useless all day. I think you passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. We walk down the street to the, co to the coffee spoon, a little, a cute little place in the corner. Man, this is in such convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home or on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home, some random guys are going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me. I won't feel, like, a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting under my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. Dad. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on a counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere I just out of sight and now that you're that jerk who left their mug? Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda. <laughs> do you have a problem with that? Do you have a problem? <laughs> we walk inside. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Hey, Matt, what's up? Welcome to Coffee Spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of dumb. It gets mentioned in the poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. I suppose it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. But people ask me the question all the time, and I give them the same answer. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's what I say to them. Blah, 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 blah. Definitely, yeah. Ba, da, 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 uh huh. So what'll it be? I scan the chalkboard menu and I'm immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a. Can I get a? Can I get a? <laughs> um, Godspeed you, black coffee. Let's get a Godspeed you, a classic. I don't get it. 
Oh, it's a pun. Godspeed You Black Emperor is a really amazing and influential progressive, progressive rock band known for their sweeping soundscapes and... I'm doing the thing again. <laughs> Hold on, I'll blow my nose. I've been battling an on and off sickness for like the past couple weeks. Coming right up. And for you, I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Coming right up. Do you want the small, medium, or biggie smalls? Uh, medium. <laughs> Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? That makes sense to making our drinks in Amanda, and I take our seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands to listen to anyway. Hey. Hey. Scott was cool ones. The couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support, you sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and always don't go outside and don't... <laughs> Anyone just understand what I said there? Uh, see, we're making progress. Matt sets her drinks down on the table and I immediately burn the roof out of my mouth. Good one. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda. This is my dad, Gokongo. <laughs> Sorry. I just make myself laugh every time. Every time I read that name. Every time. Um, hold on. Let me just uh, do, open something real quick. Do da. Do da. Da. Ba ba. Bup, 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 uh, okay, oh, sorry guys, sorry everybody, uh, where was I, okay, oh, right on, pleased to meet you both, you ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop, you two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. And then it kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be able. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. You know what? Let me get you guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe. I need come coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're gonna have to taste test it so we can uh, get the full fla flavor profile. Uh, so I taught her well. She trained for this day. Free banana bread anyway. Yes, that serves each a piece. This is amazing. Thanks, the secret ingredient is bananas. So, <laughs> that makes me laugh every time. Any ideas? I'm stumped. Uh, what was it? Right said banana bread? Yeah. Right said, right said Fred, but now it's but it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it not, despite not getting it. That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Yeah, right said banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good, good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. See, it sounds good. What do you say? Across the way, a man catches... Oh. Oh, no. It's it's Robert that we see. I hastily look away, ho hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now we're full of caffeine. Where to? Uh... Back to unpacking? I need a nap. We just had coffee. Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father's a rebel. They're all aboard the time, trying to sleep at time junction. I have heavy footsteps. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, hey, Craig. What's up, man? Holy wow. I haven't seen you in forever, man. But I seen you last time. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just going to skim through all the dialogue. Babysitting? River's my kid. Yep, that's his kid. They're both fathers. Man, I just moved. It's upside town. Oh, man. Nate's, I never got tired of hearing your voice, man. I wish I could come see you on tour. Smashly. Oh, yeah, that's right. Twins? Ugh. Case said Craig. This is the, so the story of Craig is that he used to be like a guy who drinks a lot and whatever, but now he's a dad and he's a fitness coach and whatever. God, he's just, he's. He's ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. What's that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was the thing that normal people do. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. We better get home. 
flop down the couch, Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way. Do I ever going to be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months? No, don't say that. Oh, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just, you're a little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day. I'll take a lot of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a phot phot photography major. You promise? Of course. Are you going to be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. A dog? Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's going to take? Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck, I'll, I'll, I get to name it. That's what it'll cost me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman with simple wants and needs. Well, dog is a lot cheaper than college. Amanda laughs. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. Speaking of college, darts over. Open it. I'm scared. She takes a deep breath, opens it. You have a letter opener, but okay. Hold my breath. What does it say? Uh, blah, blah, blah. We, her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you a mission. She throws a letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Yeah, it's okay. I kind of saw it coming. You're an amazing photographer. Amanda, don't sell yourself short, girl. Don't sell yourself short, baby. So. Uh, I'm going clubbing. <laughs> I'm wife. Have fun with the animals. I, I, clicked too, I clicked too far. Mr. Vega. Oh yeah, I put on my pajamas. Da da da. Say it towards doorbell rings. Who is it? Who could it be? Uh, I have pajamas on. Walk over to the door and open it. Hello. Hey. Hello. Oh, so he shows up this time? Oh, where are my matters? My name is Joseph. I'm next door neighbor. Oh yes, I'm Gokongo. Gokongo. I saw the moving van. I thought it was a neighborly thing to do. Needs in whispers. She sprinkles in the chocolate chips. We both share. <laughs> Amelia goes, oh, wow, cookies, that's so nice to meet you. Well, thanks for the cookies. And goes, Amanda. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name's Amanda. She's a charmer. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just tough. Joseph, I've heard, I've heard, man, I've heard things about you, man. I mean, dude. Have you heard about the secret ending? Have you heard about that? Are you part of that? So, so for those of you who don't know, apparently Dream Daddy has a cult ending, and it 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 went unused in the game. But there's a way for you to trigger it and see like the hidden like unused dialogue and unused like unused costumes for the, the unused like art assets. And I think Hoodie Panda was the first one to discover that. Um, I didn't watch it myself because I didn't want to get spoiled by it because I thought it was something that you could actually do in the game. But apparently, it's something that you have to you have to um, you have to modify the files. You have to download some new ones. I'm not sure. Don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met. And my social life is already in tailspin. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is the missus around, Mister? Actually, and uh, no, not anymore. He died. Yeah, that that confirms it. Oh. Uh... <laughs> wow. <clears throat> okay. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow, it's uncomfortable. I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? I'll give you Joseph quizzically, but comply after a second. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing I'm throwing a barbecue for this called the sack, and I'd love to, for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in the community. What do you say, pal? That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you 3 p.m. on Saturday. Start walking away. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister of the church. Uh, youth, uh, b -b -b suit yourself. With that just was gone. He seemed nice. Walks back in the living room. That was the smoothest rec recover I've ever seen, but I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd the cookies go? They're gone. I'm sorry. If he makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? The M has helped. Right. Well, kid, I'm going to go catch some Z's. Hurry, the Z's are getting away. Go, run, catch them. I'm on the trail. I'll get to 12 hours of quality sleep time if it's the last thing I do. As I shut the door behind me, Amanda's laugh echoes through the hallway. I wake up from a text with an unknown number. I was in shine, early bird. Still want to work out? This is Craig. What else must I wait down? Check my phone again. So I'm going to get your swole on. God, the last thing I want to do is... Uh, uh, sorry, man. I got to go back to sleep. Oh man, how long was I out? What time is it? I look over at the clock. It's 3.55 p.m. I have to be at that parent-teacher conference in five minutes. 
throw on the nearest clothes and run out the door. Sorry, Craig. I, I would love to see you today again, but what? Did it look like this before? I swear it was like, a bit more detailed than this. I'm barely awake. I check my watch. Excuse me, do you? Oh, oh yeah, this guy. <sighs> Come on, kid. I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? <laughs> Mr. Vega. I don't know. Have you tried the exit? Okay, wise guy. Are you going to help me or not? <sighs> Fine. Up those stairs and to the left. Can't miss them. I had the stairs walk around, unable to find Mr. Vega's class anywhere. After a couple of minutes of searching, I head back downstairs. That punk youth sent me on the wild goose chase. I get back to where that low red Gerard Way is standing. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Lucian, don't you have a third period to get to? There he is. There is Hugo, my boy. <sighs> Fine, Mr. Vega. Wow. Now I'm officially ten minutes late. I glare at him and he walks away. We're not cool. You must be Gogunko. The period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? Mr. Vega leads me in, and I take a seat at one of the comically small students' uh, desk in the back. I might get stuck in this, you know, due to my size. All right, where were we? Now who, now who can tell me about the unreliability of the narrator and J.D. Salinger's catching the rye? Yes, Colin? Colin stands up and does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow to make a fart noise. The whole class erupts in laughter. All right, all right, everybody. Very funny, Colin. Please sit down. Now, holding Caulfield is an unreliable narrator in the sense that the bell for the end of the period rings. All the students immediately get up and make a break for the door. <laughs> That's Ray Revez Jr., isn't it? Remember to do the reading and answer the response questions on page 194 of your textbook. Nobody's listening. Or not, I guess. Mr. Vega turns to me in size. Middle schoolers, right? Don't you teach high schoolers? Both. You know, budget cuts. Right. Thanks so much for coming in. No problem, Mr. Vega. Please, call me Hugo. I don't normally do these impromptu parent-teacher meetings, but as I'm sure you know, Amanda is a very bright student. I'm concerned about her recent behavior. What's going on? Amanda has never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing assignments and has not been has been doing rather poorly on tests. I'd normally chalk this up to senioritis, but this is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. It hadn't even crossed my mind that something might be wrong. I just want to ask, is everything okay at home? Uh, she has a, we just, we just moved. Well, we just moved recently, but it was only to the other side of town, and Amanda was more excited about it than I was. See if you can talk to her about it. I know she values you a great deal and would appreciate your guidance if she keeps heading down this road. I know how important art school is to her, and I would hate to miss her out, to see her miss out on scholarship money that she clearly, clearly deserves. I'm going to, um, see if the stream's all right on my end. See if nothing's like repeating. So apparently, apparently, the sound's been out. There we go. Oh crap. How long did that go without sound? Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. Oh boy. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Let me actually turn this down to five. There we go. Oh, why did everybody tell me? Why did everybody tell me? Because no one's here. That's why. Okay, that's fine. I'll check back again later to see if everything's all right. I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Hugo. Anytime. I'm way out. I stop thinking for a moment. I turn to Hugo. Hey, Hugo. Oh. Yes? Did they ever catch that rye? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Yay. I leave the classroom and <laughs> Yay. <laughs> make my way out of the school. I'm always a little bit in shock that Amanda was able to hide this so well from me. She's always been a such a positive force for any positivity in my life, especially after we lost her father. Amanda must be done with classes for the day by now. Appreciate it right home. Call for Amanda. So did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Vega and I actually just gossiped about our celebrity crushes. She talked about Mario Batali the whole time. It was a very productive meeting. I'm pretty hungry. Can we grab some dinner? Sure thing. Uh, we went to the mall food court before. Let's go make something at home. Cool, I think with our powers combined, we can throw together a gourmet meal worthy of the food channel. I don't know about that, but I can promise you it will be at least be edible. Yeah. <clears throat> that's the spirit. We're driving silence for a short while. Maybe that's why people weren't coming to the street. Uh, I'm so lonely. That's fine. 
doing this for I'll do this for myself mostly. Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna do a, gonna do a quick tweet. Quick tweet out. So which one has more impressions on Twitter? Let's see this one. Ah. Uh, fix the sound. Apparently the game's game sound was muted the whole time. I fixed it. And now we are back in full force. And then I'll put a little gif in there. Yes. How about a cap how about a Captain Falcon? How about Captain Falcon Jeff? GIF. That's the way it's pronounced. Let's put that let's put that there. Yay. Ba -da 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 -da. All right. We drive in silence for a short while. Amanda plays a game on her phone. I should say something. You know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents. And that's okay. Because sometimes that's what kids do. And that's okay. But also sometimes it's good to have the parents' perspective. Because, you know, maybe the parents are... Blah, blah. And maybe the... Blah, blah. Have you been reading my tweets? You have Twitter? What? Never mind. Look, sweetie. I'm fine, Pops. Senioritis. I thought you like Mr. Vegas class. It's, it's fine. He's fine. Stop lying, I have Amanda, she's still texting. He's texting his staff as well. Ah, that's so funny. Who you texting? Noah, my friend, does he go to your school? Yep, do you like Noah? Dad, ugh, can't believe you would, and Dad, and, I mean, jeez, why would you, ugh. <laughs> Gross. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And we do find out later on that he, she does indeed like Noah. How about them apples? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, just asking. Dad, he's just my friend. Girls and guys can guys and girls can be friends. He's my friend. All right, okay, okay, okay. Gosh, gosh dang, gosh dang, dude. Don't, you don't need to get all defensive about it. I'm not getting defensive. Why do you care about so? Why do I care about some gay guy, man? Okay, I'm trying to read. Jeez, this is going this is going well. <laughs> well, good talk to you, love kiddo. Turns up at the radio, cranks it, cranks up the Lady Gaga. And then I get back home and start cooking some dinner. Found this artisanal mac and cheese recipe online I've been dying to try. Artisanal? There's two ingredients to mac and cheese. Mac and then cheese. Dad, please, Dad. We try and enjoy the finer things in life. I think I think you of all people should be able to appreciate what one can do with cheese. Plus it has bacon in it. Aren't we as a society collectively over bacon? Bacon never stopped being good. It just has a PR problem. <clears throat> We get to work on the recipe, Amanda measuring things out and handing them to me to dump in, in the bowl so I can feel useful. Amanda puts me on the baking duty, so I chop a bunch and toss, a, toss into a pan and get it sizzling. The key to good mac and cheese is a balance of texture and flavor, Pops. Not only are we going to want the fullness of the cheese and bacon, but we also need to counterbalance it with a crunchy mouthfeel of breadcrumbs. Uh, Check on bacon. It's still pink and rubbery. I give the piece a little stir. Wait, what's a mouthfeel? You know, when you eat stuff and eat stuff and it... The texture, uh, <laughs> listen, I've been watching a lot of Food Channel, and I honestly don't know what it means. It just makes me feel sophisticated to say. No, no, I get that. Every time I watch that channel, I just feel, in order, hungry, jealous, insecure about my cooking ability, and then hungry again. Yeah, that's, 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 that's usually how it goes, isn't it? <laughs> um, huh. I like the mouthfeel of that sentence. Oh my god. <laughs> Amanda, mouthfeel isn't just about food, it's also about words that are fun to say. Gregarious. Uh, uh, lenticular. Caddy Wampus. Check on bacon. The bacon is sizzling away. It smells good too. I'll give that sucker a flip. Nice. Good work, Dad. Bacon can easily overheat and cause a grease fire. I'm proud of you for remaining vigilant. We literally just moved in here and I'm dead set I'm not burning this place down. Eyes like a hawk. Amanda finishes up with the mac and cheese and I toss the bacon bits in there. After stirring it all together, I check. I take a, ta take a taste. How's the mouth feel? <laughs> Uh, tastacular. Not an actual word, but I'll allow it. She tries a spoonful. Yeah. Tastacular. Nice. Yes, we did it. 
We sit on the couch with our bowls of mac and cheese. Oh, cool. Lo oh, this. Oh, yeah. This. This show. Long haul ice roll paranormal ghost truckers is on. Your favorite, right? Oh, hell yes. They have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but it, oh, they're also hunting ghosts. Also, the trucks are haunted. This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Callum and Flint Dogbone, the twin brother truck driving and ghost hunting duo, find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Oh no, the ghost done The ghost done got control of the truck. I can't steal the, uh, the dang ice roads. Let me use this EVP me to try and communicate with the spirits. Flint, we're about to die. Ah, I must have forgotten it. If you listen carefully, it sounds like it's saying, you're going to die. That's because we're about to die, you. This is art. The episode ends with Amanda excusing, and Amanda excuses herself to go start arguments on the internet. I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Callum and Flint Dogbone after their disastrous ice road accident. Afterward, I crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep. Okay, treat people better than they treat you. That's usually the rule, I guess. Just up a little bit. Sleepy. Morning sleepyhead. Five more minutes. You have never ever let me have five more minutes, so get up. Fine. We have... <laughs> We have cereal go Congo. We have cereal for breakfast and spend the morning putting together furniture. And that is much better at interpreting the tiny manuals. We're able to put together a few shelves and one desk, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a bookcase. So you excited for the cookout today? Uh excited to beef up my grilling skills. I see this as a learning opportunity. If I could snake some hot grill tips, I could, I think we could consider it a success. Do you want to meet some of the people in the neighborhood? I'll probably end up standing uncomfortably in the corner with a plate of food, and I hope that nobody talks oh. to me. Dad, you're a beautiful work in progress. We will get that butterfly to emerge from that cocoon. The social butterfly. Well, we better get start getting ready. Huh? What? No, we have, to, we have to be fashionably late. You know what? We're going early, just because you said that. Head out to the door. Hmm. I guess we're not as early as we thought we were. Uh, Joseph's backyard is already packed. Fit your plate down. Hey, there's Joseph. I waited to get his attention. Oh. Welcome. I'm glad you two are here. You brought veggies. Mm. Let me introduce you to my family. Kids, come over here. This is Chris, my eldest. Uh. Hi. Mm. This is Christian and Christy. They're twins. Ah. There they are. There's the there's the shining kids. Yeah. Then, of course, there's our youngest, Chris. Wait, where's Chris? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. <laughs> oh, how could I forget my lovely wife, Mary? Oh. Perks. Uh, she smiles. Ah, Mary, sweetheart, did you put Krish to bed? I'll have to go look for him. Mm. What? You'll have to... Oh. Just takes a moment and regains his composure. Oh. Mary, this is our new new neighbor, Gokongo, and his daughter, Amanda. Oh. I'll sh I'd shake your hand, but I, have, but I have a glass of wine that I need to tend to. I love her. Nice to meet you, Mary. Charmed. Well, I have to go over there now. Huh, my wife has a wonderful sense of humor. But please, you two enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. Here, let me introduce you around. Hey, Gokongo, have you met Brian yet? Who? Hey, Brian, come over here for a sec. Oh, yeah, this guy. <laughs> Brian, let's go, Congo. Hey, go, Congo. Right. Through there. Cracker oh, Cracker Barrels. <laughs> cracker Barrel cheese. Yeah. I thought a small squeak after my hand balls had been Whoa. ground to dust. Not much of a handshake guy, huh? Guess I'm more of a hugger. Right. Which house did you move into? The ranch style one and the cul-de-sac. Right. Oh, the one that's just like mine, but smaller. That kind of hurts. Is he trying to one-up me? Is he... Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh... I'm happy there. Got no worries about size. It's all it's me and my daughter are happy. Uh, mm, well put. Oh, let me introduce you to my daughter. Kid peeks out. There she is. Oh, yeah, Daisy. Hello. Uh, Hi, what grade are you in? Fifth grade. Uh, We're actually trying to get her to skip sixth grade. Not to brag, but she's pretty smart. Not to brag? That's exactly what bragging is. <laughs> Hashtag humble brag. Hashtag humble grab. I got huge problems to worry about. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Amanda's smart, too. I'll have, I'll have you know 100%. Huh? It's like, she's like, what, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> well, I'll be around the party if you feel like saying hey later. You got it. Let me introduce you to Damien. Oh, yeah, we didn't we didn't go around town much to see all of them. Oh. Get you, friends. Is our new neighbor, Gokongo. Nice, so lovely to meet you. If ever you're interested, it would bring me great pleasure to host you for a spot of afternoon tea. Wow, uh, yeah, that sounds rad. Uh, splendid. Well, I must be off. Perhaps our paths shall cross again. Dang, what a classy dude. Uh. Okay, let me check in on the stream one more time. It's just so I can, you know. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. There we go. Do do boop 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 do 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 do
ba 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 beep 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 A haggard man rushes to- oh hey Robert! Hey! Hey, I'm Gokongo, it's nice to meet you! He takes a long swig of his drink. Charmed! Oh. Gokongo and his daughter just moved in next door. Cool. If you ever need recommendations on where to get a drink in this town, Rob's your man. Mm. I told you not to call me Rob. Norm McDonald! <laughs> Norm McDonald. I don't think I've heard that one. <coughs> right, got it. Robert ambles away without saying goodbye. He's not really a people person. Wow, I think I've actually met I've, act I've actually met everybody else. Great, I bet you're excited to get to know everyone better. Hope you both enjoy yourselves. Ned and I mill around and try some of the food spread on the table. I picked some deviled eggs. And Meta grabs a small paper plate and immediately begin piling it with baked goods. I don't want to have to make friends. Come on, Dad. Who are you going to party to when I go off to school? A bunch of pleasantries. We talk about the weather. Play cookies. What cool guy and mysterious. That guy who keeps trying to one-up me. A mysterious goth, goth guy. Is that, isn't that Meta's teacher? Hey, no Craig. Wait a second, all these people are living in the cul-de-sac? That can't be right, I better investigate. Let's go talk to Matt, Hugo, and Craig. Hmm. Matt, Hugo, and Craig seems to be embroiled in intense discussion. Craig looks on smiling politely. I walk over to say hello. Well, I don't think it's fair to try and compare two art movements like that. Periods in, in art only exist because they're in a unique byproduct of the social and political climate of a time and place, and to try and take something like, say, the Rocco, Rocco, Rococo period and compare it to most mo postmodernism in America, you're completely disregarding the context in which a work is, of art is created. Uh, now, my head. My head. <laughs> Man, Hugo seem to be so busy talking that they don't need me. Craig leans in. Dude, I have no idea what's happening. Talk to Matt Hugo. Um, that kind of comparison just eliminates the reason art movements are so important in the first place. You're not wrong, but I think there's no harm comparing one work of art to another. You could definitely say one painting is better than another if you're evaluating technical skill from a purely If I showed you a Matisse and then this is man. I'm so lost right now. I should I shoot a worried glance over to Craig, who returns it. Well, sure, you could say this. Well, it's. What should I say? Hmm? Well, it's pretty subjective. Uh. Maybe. I have no idea what you guys are talking uh, about. We we're just discussing the importance of context when we're talking about artwork. Listen, all I asked was if you like Van Gogh or Picasso better. Um, Hugo throws out of his hands in frustration. <laughs> but they represent two different, uh, completely different art movements. How could I possibly choose between the thick, creamy impasto of a post impressionism and the abstractionist beauty of cubism? Man, that's all the way above my head. Uh -huh. Me too. Oh. That's all good, man. The cool thing is about art is that we all perceive it differently. A single piece could have a totally different effect on each person that looks at it. And that's awesome. Nice. Just one minute about that. Hugo, please. Hey. Sorry, sorry. I, I get really fired up about art stuff. Yokongo, how are you liking the neighborhood? It's pretty nice. Everybody's been super friendly. Hey, dude. Hey, it seems like your, f your daughter is fitting in just fine. Matt points across the yard to where Amanda, Daisy, and another young girl are playing. Hey. Blah, blah, blah. What is it, sweetheart? Oh, oh yeah. Matt's daughter. It's a flower clown. I thought you looked cute in it. Hey, yeah. Well, there's only one way to find out. Matt takes the flower crown and places it on top of his head. Hey. There he is. There's flower crown, Matt. Am I cool now? Ghost says I am thinking it over. Hmm, nope. But you're slightly less uncool than you were before you put it on. Hey. <laughs> hey, Gokongo, this is my daughter. Hello. I'm Carmen Sita. Ah. Amanda walks over with Daisy. Yeah. Making friends, that's awesome. I'm good at making friends, guys. I'm very good at making friends. <laughs> huh? Oh, hi, Mr. Vega. I didn't realize we were neighbors. Oh. Yep. You still gonna get me that overdue term paper? Uh. Uh, great seeing you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> okay. Uh, she learned the finger guns move from me. I'm very, very proud. I, I taught her well. Hmm? She's definitely a charmer. Speaking of which, where did my son go? Sweet Manchego. Sweet Manchego. What? Ernest, Harris Hemingway, are you smoking? Hmm? Lit cigarette. Nope. I see Ernest across the way. Um. Unbelievable. Excuse me. Eagle marches over to Ernest, and I turn my attention to Matt and Craig. Kids, right? Oh. Man, I do not. I do not envy Hugo. The last barbecue we had, Ernest tried to shove a sparkler down Joseph's pants. Nearly burned down half the yard. Hmm. The barbecue we had before that, he actually burned down half the yard. And then it spread out on my lawn and burned down half my yard, too. <sighs> Hugo walks back. Oh, look at him. Um... He's he's a rebel. Hey, everybody, sorry about that. Go, Congo, this is my son, Ernest. Hello. Ernest looks away, sulking, hands shoved deep in his pockets. Hugo nudges him patiently. Hey. Nice to meet you. What grade are you in? Doesn't matter. Hmm? 
Ernest? Okay, okay, I'm in eighth grade. God, are you happy now? I'm sure you were just dying to know. Uh, yeah, good for you. Hmm. Can't go now. I'm tired of talking to old dudes who play my generation for the failing economy. Ouch. Eh. Ernest? Oh, yeah, because I'm totally embarrassing you. Wow. He seems nice. His hands and size. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. He's really having a rough time. I'm As much as I want to be the cool dad, I have to be the author authoritarian dad. And he clearly resents me for mm -hmm. it. I mean, I think as a, I think as a dad, a teacher, that's about as authoritarian as you can get. Mm. Honestly, are any of us cool dads? Is it even possible to be a cool dad? What? I'm cool as a cucumber. Oh. See that right there? You can't say that. Oh. My kids think I'm cool. But for how long, Craig? How long do we need to be get oh. to be the cool dads? I uh, don't know. Hey, hey. Amanda's 18. Hmm. She still thinks I'm cool. Amanda, I'm cool, right? Amanda just laughs. She keeps laughing. I see your point. Um. We all want it. Hmm. Our job as parents is to make sure our kids turn out okay. Ah. Don't let us get the. Okay, it's time for hmm. burger time. Burger dude, let's get some work magic. Hmm. You guys think this is my first time in front of a grill? Hmm. Wow, he probably doesn't know. <laughs> He's unbelievable. Nice. Oh. Uh, lettuce, I... mustard. Hey. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> cheesy. Uh, please stop. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Food puns. Oh. Kind of nice, isn't it? Totally helps when you're a hmm. single dad. Oh. Plus, Amanda seems to be getting along with all the kids. <laughs> Why don't you take, add us all in dad book? Oh. oh yeah, dad book. Uh, let's just skip this for now. I mean, I gotta... I felt like I was at a networking event. Mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Okay. Ah. From here on out, it's gonna be all new content. Ah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna... Work on some stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, she... Uh... Mm -hmm. I was scared. I have a right to be concerned. Aww. Bye. Aww. Mm. I trust you to make to make good decisions. Aww. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Friday night, you're most likely too. Uh. Hmm. Sleep. What would Hugo like? Maybe the History Channel. Mm. How about the how about the History Channel? Uh, Desert Island. It would be. Uh. Uh, Castaway. What are your turn-ons? Strong, <laughs> strong dad arms. I forgot about that. Hmm. I'll do strong dad arms. What did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, good father. What's your favorite movie genre? Mm, anything on laser disc? Now those are huge. Laser disc, laser disc is huge. I just found out. Um, war documentaries. What's your ideal date? Thousand, thousand piece puzzle. Eating a healthy dinner. Thousand piece puzzle. What do you never leave home without? Masik vape, bro. Uh, world jumbles? Spent a lot of time thinking about conspiracy theories. Potential into the world. Profile complete. It wasn't that bad. Go get him, Dad. Okay, Welcome. we're finally into the meat of it. Let's do Hugo. Blah, blah, blah. Muscles, movie star. Alright, let's message him. Let's message him up. Let's do it. I, I navigate to Hugo's dad book page and type out a message. Uh, oh, oh, hello, Julian, Julian Hopkins. Hopkins. Hi, welcome to the live stream. Sorry I didn't get your message earlier. Welcome, 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 welcome. Glad you're here. Thank you for coming to the live stream. Okay. Hey, Hugo, great seeing you at the barbecue. Want to hang out sometime? I'll wait for a few minutes before the computer dings. I'm so glad that... Uh-oh. I'm so glad you... I think... I uh, I have a favor to ask. Our class is going to field trip to aquarium today, and one of our chaperones is called in sick. Is there any possible way you could come by and replace them? I, I completely understand if you don't want to, or can't make it, but I'm going to be honest with you here. It's it's the middle school class. I need as much help as I can get. In their musical, middle school. Arguably the worst age to be. Hmm. Amanda silently trudges into the kitchen and pours herself a bowl of cereal. Her eyes are a little puffy, almost as if she'd been crying. Morning, Amanda. Morning, Pops. 
Hey, are you all right? I'm fine. Hello. <laughs> of course, I'm fine. I just got to thinking about the Backstreet Boys. They had a reunion. The Backstreet Boys are back, all right. Huh. But they're different. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong with them. Like they're like their dreams someone once had but can no longer remember. And no one's talking about it. They just they just go on like everything's normal. I should. Uh. But were they were they original? Were they really the ones? The answer is no. We see boy bands come and go all the time. It's just the way the world works. So, do fathers just lose their dad license if they don't mention the Beebles at least once a month? Yes, but mentions of Russia Billy Joel are acceptable in a pinch. Uh, change the subject. Hey, how was middle school for you? Bad. Ba bad, but nobody likes middle school. It's been three years of bad acne, crying, and being generally terrible. Ugh. Everyone sucks. No self-awareness. It's just a bunch of hor hormonal teenagers locked in the gross old building for 40 hours a week, doing long division, then starting fights over, I don't know, pizza day, top 40s pop? <clears throat> middle schoolers should be avoided at all costs. Mm. What was your middle school experience like? Uh, that was fine. There was nothing really out of the ordinary for me. I had friends who, I don't know, they all wronged me in some way, shape, or form. They were terrible to me. And wait, I was terrible to them too. I was rushing, it was all, all rushing back to me. Middle school was awful. I repressed it for so long. Yeah, did we just have a breakthrough? I think we did. See, middle schoolers are re reprehensible. Wait, why are you asking me about middle school? Oh, Mr. Vega requested my help to chaperone his middle school high class to the aquarium. Just wanted to know what I was in for. Oops, sorry, sorry. You get to go to the aquarium? Are you kidding me? The last field trip I got to go to was on the clam chowder factory. They didn't even give us clam chowder. They gave us square pizza. The clam chowder factory. Oh, is that why you won't eat clam chowder anymore? No, it's because Bobby Wellington threw up into the, one of the vats of clam chowder, and I'm the only one who saw it happen. It haunts me. Right, let's just leave this, that story firmly in the hmm. past. Anyway, you should just do it. Mr. Vega sounds like he could really use the help. Plus, you get to hang out with the cool fish. Man, I get... Oh, telephone. I think we're good. I, I I think I think we're good. I think we're good here, people. I th think we're good. Don't don't you worry. <laughs> don't you worry, child. Heaven's got a plan for you. Yeah, don't you worry. Don't you worry, child. Yeah. What are you worried that it's going to pop by? Don't you put fear in my heart. Well, do they have penguins there? Yes, they have penguins yes. there. And it's settled. Penguins outweigh fear of the ocean. I sit back down at the computer and let Hugo know that I'm available. He tells me to sit, meet him at the aquarium and gives me the address. I grab my keys and kiss the man on the forehead before I head out. I arrive at the aquarium. Okay, I'm going to save it right here. I arrive at the aquarium to find that the school buses have beaten me there. Preteens huddle around the teachers in small groups yelling at each other and goofing off. Uh, every teacher looks like they're at their wit's end. Uh, Hugo jogs up to me, looking frazzled. I'm so glad you're here. Hugo! Uh, it's been a debacle all morning. We're shorthanded and most of the kids won't stop screaming. And I'm sure you know it's the case with all middle schoolers. I lived through that. I lived through Amanda at 12. I'm all too familiar. Uh, Great, well, it's you and me chaperoning the kids of the group of 10 kids. They're over here. Hugo walks me over to a gaggle of preteens who are all sitting on the ground, playing with their phones. They're not kicking each other like some of the other groups, so we're off to a good start. Hmm. Can you guys put your phones away? All the kids look up for a moment to stare at Hugo. They then go back to texting. At least they're quiet? Hmm. Too quiet. These guys are up to something. I can feel it. There's no way. They're too busy thinking about not getting food stuck in their braces to pull any stunts. It's middle school after all. Uh. We'll see. The classes start filling in the aquarium. Hugo hands out massive st stapled packets to pay for each kid. He's to do at the end of the field trip. Yes, this will be a four grade. No, you can't borrow a pencil. The kids collectively groan and grab the sheets from Hugo. What's in the packet? Ah. Honestly, it's just busy work so that the teachers can have a moment's reprieve. I think one of the questions asked them to sit quietly for 10 minutes and think about the Great Barrier Reef. Teacher hacks. I like that. Wait, I thought you were an English teacher. What does the aquarium have to do with books? Mm -hmm. We just did a unit on the old man in the sea. Nothing quite like introducing kids to the futile per 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 perseverance of a human spirit by making them pet stingrays. Oh. It gives us time to check out some of the exhibits as well. Come on, they have a phenomenal section of tropical fish. While the kids sit on the floor and pretend to do their assignments while they text, Hugo and I wander over to a large tank filled with brightly colored fish. Hugo points to a brown and white fish with long spines. Ah. That right there is a lionfish. Did you know that their stomachs can expand up to 30 times its size? 
Whoa. Ah. Your spines are venomous, too. Nature's hardcore. Oh. You think that's bad? Take a look at this one over here. Pico points to a spiny, grumpy-looking fish hanging out in the bottom, hanging out near the bottom of the tank. Hey. That's a stonefish, the most venomous fish in the world. And they just, like, keep it here? Oh, they're re relatively harmless so long as you don't step on them. What happens if you step on them? Hmm? Tissue necrosis. Cool. Hmm. Nature is wild. Man, Hiko seems to know a lot about fish. I feel the overwhelming need to impress him. Hey, see that fish over there? Hmm. That one? Yeah, that's the... American longfish. Big nose wiggle fish. Hum humphead ras? What? Um, I kind of like big nose. Big nose wiggly fish. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> Did you know that... Um... Uh... Paranormal, psych psychiatric, political? I think you like political. This fish openly supports legalization of marijuana? Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I didn't know it was so progressive. Times are changing, man. Hmm? Wait, are you serious? That's serious? <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm playing it for the gag here. Yes! Ha, good one. <laughs> yes! We lead the kids to another room. Sharks, sea turtles, eels, and other marine life swim around in the massive floor to ceiling aquarium. The kids begin trying to take selfies with the sharks. He goes, <laughs> Of course they do. Because. Because millennials. That's, that's all that matters. <laughs> Just checking around. Sorry guys. Uh, after a while, I look around and see Hugo again. He's gazing up at the aquarium in childlike wonder. The ripples in the water cast blue moving shadows across his face. For someone surrounded by angry hormonal preteens, he looks completely peaceful. He looks really cute in this light. I hope he doesn't notice me staring. Wow. Mm. I walk over to join him. Beautiful, isn't it? I'd rather stare at you. Ooh. We can learn a great deal. We can learn a great deal from Mother Ocean. A great many mysteries lie in the ocean. It truly really is fascinating to be able to observe it in a setting such as this. Ooh, that's a very astute point, Gokongo. <laughs> I, I can't stand <laughs> saying them say, like imagining them saying Gokongo out loud. We stand together for a moment, admiring the world, the wonders of marine life. Madonna, Den Madonna, <laughs> Madonna, what's up, girl? Same. Same. Absolutely same. <laughs> we stand together for a moment, admiring the wonders of marine life. We eventually make our way to the touch tank room, which seems to be the only thing the kids are actually interested in. The tank is filled with a variety of horseshoe crabs, sea urchins, stingrays, and small fish. I stand around the edges of the tank and keep a wary distance from the sea life. Who knows what kind of nefarious plans those horse crab horseshoe crabs have for my well-moisturized hands. So they, they're very well-moisturized. Not, not really. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gross. All right. Hugo rolls up his sleeve and sticks his hand in the water. Don't you want to pet some rays, Gokongo? Oh, I think I'm good. I don't really... I think I should just stay over here and admire them from a respectable distance. Come on, it'll be fun and informative. Don't make fun of me. Don't make fun of me, but... I'm scared to touch them. I get weird when there's no glass separating us. I don't know what any of these things are, but I just get the feeling that they'll probably bite me and my delicious hands if, my, if given the chance. <laughs> Nothing in this tank can hurt you. The stingrays have their have had their bars removed. The horseshoe crabs only eat little clams, and the anemones are perfectly safe to touch. I guess my better judgment, I approach the tank, slowly dipping my hand into the cold water. I touch a stingray as it glide, glides past me. See, not so bad. It feels like fun, slimy leather. He's got a lot less scary when you learn more about them, right? Yeah, yeah. You you you, you learn more about something, and it's, it's not that scary anymore. It's like when you when you're scared of like horror movies, and then you see like the behind the scenes and like the makeup and like the special effects. It, it it's not so scary anymore because you know how it's done, and I and I love that about it. Uh, I dive my hand back into the tank, uh, into the touch tank with a nude vigor for ocean life. I poke at some urchins and feel the hard uh, carapace of the horseshoe crab. My hand brushes against Hugo's as we reach for the same anemone. I pull away, blushing. Ooh, 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 scandalous. <laughs> Hugo smiles at me. Hey, you're supposed to be touching the fish. Sorry, I just get a little carried away sometimes. Wait, that girl over there looks suspicious. What is that? Hmm? Are backpacks usually that wet? Hold on. 
Susan, Susan, get back here. He even runs after her middle school and catches her before she can make it to the exit. Wanna tell me what's in the bag? Uh, textbooks? Wanna tell me what's really in the bag? Susan won't budge. I walk over to Hugo and the girl. I think he might need a bad cop. Look, kid. Uh, I'm not afraid to hit a child. Easy 5 to 10 in the clink. We don't have time for games here. Whatever it is, it goes back in the touch tank. Now. You're not a teacher. You can't tell me what to do. Oh. Yes, well, I am. Can you please put the bag down? Next time you won't say please. Uh, Susan glares at Hugo for a moment before dropping the ba book bag on the floor. It lands with a wet slap. We stare at it for a moment before it starts to move. Whoa. Hugo leans down and zips the bag. A horseshoe crab frantically scuttles out and across the floor. The employee swoops in, scoops it up, and places it back in the tank. She gives us a disapproving look. Jeez, Susan, what was your plan? I was trying to free him. To where? Outside? Where was he gonna where he's gonna die? Mm. Susan, go back to your group. We'll discuss this later. <sighs> freaking freaking Susan, man. Susan is always up to no good. Terrible that terrible no good day or whatever it was. Yeah, enhance where we could see him. Susan sulks off, leaving me alone with Hugo. He gives me a pat on the shoulder. Oh. Me and the schoolers have sticky hands. I thought that's the first time that's happened that's happened here. Or the last. In the next room, we see a variety of smaller tanks, sea urchins, tiny fish, and a rainbow of beautiful underwater plant life surround us. Oh. Look over there! Hugo points to some horseshoes gathered at the bottom of the tank. One of them is point is the middle is in the middle hey. giving birth. That's it. That's actually the male seahorse. Oh yeah, that's right. The male seahorses give the birth, right? That's interesting. Hey kids, come check this out. There's a male seahorse giving birth. A low murmur from the students. They just jump back on their phones. Hey. Fun fact: male seahorses can even give birth and then get pregnant in the same day. Man, we th we thought we had it hard. Hey. I wonder if they had to deal with their kids' awkward teenage years too. All, however many thousand of them. You seem to know a lot about marine life, Hugo. Oh. It's not really my specialty, but I do make a point to learn as much as possible whenever I can. I think that learning shouldn't end when you leave school. We should ch challenge ourselves to find out more about the things we don't understand every day in our lives. Yeah, that's, that's, I agree to that to an extent. Because if you stop learning, I don't think you'll ever be able to stop, be able to grow or change as a person. Good point. But I still don't trust the ocean. We'll get there. We finally make our way over to my favorite part of the tour, the Arctic exhibit. Do we get to see the penguins? Mm. Yes, we get to see the penguins. Hell yes. <laughs> Yay. Ooh, look at all the penguins. Our group of kids run around the exhibits. They won't stop tapping on the glass of the puffin enclosure, trying to get their attention. For at least a few moments, teachers, chaperones, and students all like seem to be having a great time. What was I so worried about? This isn't too bad. What? Hugo suddenly grabs my arm. Oh my god, there's a student in the penguin enclosure. Wait, it's wait, just kidding. It's very bad. Is it one of ours? Uh, it most certainly is. Molly Henderson, Susan's friend. I look over to the penguins and see a determined-looking <coughs> kid crouching behind a rock. She's hiding just out of sight of one of the employees. Over on the side of the enclosure. Well, how do these kids get in? What kind of... How rowdy are these kids? Over on the side of the enclosure, I see the door to the exhibit ajar. Was it unlocked the whole time? We gotta stop her before the staff sees and bans our school from my... Uh, Hugo looks around. I don't know. I'll create a distraction. Hugo runs towards the puffin exhibit and addresses the entire room. Eh. Everybody, everybody, everybody. I have an announcement. The whole room turns towards Hugo. Um, <sighs> ah. here's a few facts I bet you didn't know about penguins. Everybody just stares at Hugo, confused. Well, this is my shot. I run to the enclosure and I'm greeted by a cold blast of air. <laughs> Psst, hey! The girl whips around and looks at me. Her nose pink from the cold. You can't be in here. Neither can you. I try to walk over to the girl, but the ground is so icy that I just end up slipping. I catch myself before I hit the ground, but the girl still laughs at me. Eh. Contrary to popular belief, uh, penguins are birds. Birds are traditionally known to fly, but penguins cannot. So I can understand some confusion when we're discussing the birdness of penguins. The crowd is still somehow enraptured. Kid, what are you even doing? I'm letting the penguins go. They're, they deserve freedom. Where are they even going to go? They're going to live in my closet. Look, I just don't even have time to argue about this. We've got to get out of here. Not until I save a penguin. Oh, no. A little known fact about penguins oh, is that penguins only live in cold climates, uh, with some exceptions. So they don't all live in cold climates if you use splitting hairs here. Did I mention that they don't fly? The crowd is starting to lose interest. I'm running out of time. Uh... Lay down the law, try to relate her. Briper? Briper. I will give you $20 right now if you leave with me. My thanks for a second. Okay, well, give it to me right now. I reach into my pocket and pull out everything I have, examining each bill. Okay, well, I have $12 and some change. Also, there's a button here. Is that enough? Hit me the other eight later and we have a deal. We move to shake our agreement, but I suddenly realize there's a wave of penguins on the way out of the enclosure. We're going to have to block these birds. 
Oh, is that is that it? We do it. Oh. What? Um. What? What is this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Get out of here. Out of here. Out. 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 Get out. Get out of here. Out of the enclosure. Out of here. What is it? What are these hands supposed to be? They don't just fly away anymore? Oh gosh. Get out. 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 Back. Back, I say. Back. 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 Back, foul penguins. What is this? Back. Back. <laughs> just bouncing around. Back, back, back. Bribe that teen. Uh, cash money. There you go. No. Oh, what is the. What the. Mission come. Um. What? 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 What just. What just happened? Bribery works. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. <laughs> Whew, God, that's over. Just in time, too. It looks like he was wrapping up his divisionary penguin mm. speech. And that's why I think penguins are one of the best animals in the world. A few people in the audience clap out of a sense of duty. Everybody starts disappearing. This person. He goes spots us from across the way and runs over. Mm. Molly, what were you doing in there? I was liberating animals, Mr. Vega. You realize that the penguins can only survive in Arctic temperatures, right? You wouldn't have a you would have a dead penguin on your hands. Well, um, it was the thought that counts. No, Molly, it wasn't. Molly turns to me. You owe me eight dollars. Oh. What? Just I'll pay you later, kid. Molly runs up towards Susan. I suppose that they can compare animal thief notes. Hmm? You're not off the hook, Molly. Oh. Go, go. Did you just bribe a child? I bribed a child. <laughs> it was the only way to get her out of the exhibit. I'm not proud of what I've done. Not proud of it either, or of my penguin facts, TM, trademark lecture, but at least we got her out. Mm -hmm. Let's just get through the day and get out of here. Alright. Whew, that was, that mini game was something, man. I bribed a child. <laughs> I, I, I did, I bribed a child. <laughs> With the day finally coming to a close, a whole field trip is ushered, ushered through the gift shop and we make our way back to the school buses. As we leave the aquarium, the kids along to the buses, Hugo pulls me aside. Mm. Hey, Gokongo, thank you so much for helping out. Oh, he's... Uh, today. You're a lifesaver. It was no problem. It was actually kind of fun. Uh, Let me take you out next time to make it up to you. You like cheese boards? I freaking... Oh, I love freaking cheese boards. The, the, uh, there's a lot cheese boards. I'm all about cheese boards. There's nothing on earth more satisfying than a good cheese board. I think that's good. Ooh! Picking all the good choices. Great. Well, I gotta go make sure the kids don't steal anything else. See you around. Alright. I think, I think that went... I think that went swimmingly. <laughs> okay. I walk inside to find the house empty. Hmm, I wonder where the pan is at. Before I know it, Amanda pops into the front door. Huh. What's up to tonight? What's up to tonight? Just doing some homework. How was the aquarium? It was an adventure. Some kid tried to steal penguin. Aww. We've all been there. I had to run in and grab her before any of the employees saw. Right. You gotta go in the penguin enclosure? Did you steal a penguin for us? Amanda, no penguins were stolen thanks to the valiant efforts of myself and Mr. Vega. It was nice getting to spend some time with Hugo, though. Huh. I'm surprised he helped. Com uh, helped complete a covered op. He's usually kind of a... Kind of a what? Yeah. Kind of a stick in the mud? He's actually pretty cool. I had a good time with him. Alright, too much adventure for me today. I'm gonna go rest my mm -hmm. eyes. You mean take a nap? There's a difference. You'll learn when you become a father. Um... Uh... There's multiple things wrong with that statement. Alright, how many dad points did we get? I think a lot. Yes! Looks like Paradise Lost just got found. <laughs> wow, very, very nice. That, that, that was a nice. That was a nice joke. That, that, was, that was nice. That was, that was very nice. That was, that, was very, that was very nice. Uh, while I'm doing my afternoon world jumbles, I hear, I hear the mail truck pull through the cold sack. Um, I wonder if we got any coupons today. Nice mail person slides a couple of letters and a large yellow envelope through the slot. Here's a couple of tries for them to get it in. Hey, my coupons. I take- <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm. I lightly, no I lightly knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda? She yells through the door. What? I have something for you. I'm kind of busy right now. Can you come back later? Okay, just thought you want this big old envelope we got from HIA. Immediately, Amanda pushes her door open. Horn Institute for the Arts? I mean, if you're busy, I can come back later. Yeah. Father, please. And then this is the... Uh, she got it! Hooray! Yeah. Yes. 
And then we get, we get spend some nice time with Amanda. See like, honey, it's happening. Dad, I, I can't get kids in my burrito. It's gonna make me sad. Pulling Amanda for a hug and a kiss on the forehead. Love you, kiddo. Love you too, pops. No, I, I just wanted that kind of. Welcome. Oh. You've got dads. Oh yeah, you got dads. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's let's continue on with Hugo. My boy Hugo. My boy Hugo. Uh, yeah, that's good. Message. Message him once again. If you're parking uphill, be sure to turn your tires towards the sweet the streets. I should take Hugo up on his offer to hang out. I had a lot of fun with him at the aquarium. I type out a message to him on Dad Book. Hey, still want a cheese board? He responds within a few minutes. Call is being a humongous... <laughs> wow. A humongous craphead. He won't stop sending the state picture of Jackie Chan in a mess shirt to the printer. It's a nice picture, but it's wasting all my paper. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. meant that for another teacher. But seriously, he's insufferable. There's pictures of Jackie Chan everywhere. I type back. Save a couple for me. My Jackie Chan scrapbook is a little light on content, and I think this would really round it out. <laughs> Yeah, I stand up for my computer and stretch. Let me let me get back to you after class ends. Well, guess there's only one thing to do now. <laughs> Welp. Dad nap. You got dad nap. I hop on the couch and turn on some road antiques road warrior for the background noise. I got this ornate I got this ornate cap uh, cabinet from yard sale for five dollars in 1982. To be told that it would once belonged to a Confederate general is a huge surprise. This will feed my tribe for weeks. I really like the way the appraiser's voice echoes through the mouthpiece of the, his leather armor slash bondage gear. <laughs> Maybe this is that ASMR thing Amanda keeps telling me about. I drift off to sleep. And wake up. I'm jolted awake by a dad book message from Hugo. Hey, sorry about that. Colin's in the principal's office now. He says he knows uh, Jackie Chan personally and that Jackie Chan will be happy to hear this. I get off work in a little bit and I continue to be very serious about the cheese boards. I fumble out a reply. Yeah, so am I. Hugo and I work out the details, and I'm all set to meet him in a few hours. Alright, time to cheese board. Whatever that is. Meta walks in the door just as I'm about to leave. What's up, with, what's up Buttercup? Mm. Just getting home from school? Where are you going? Oh, I have a meeting with the board. The board? Um, a cheese board is what I meant. I'm getting cheese with your teacher. Will you be able to fend for yourself until dinner time? Mm. Yeah, I'll live. But only if you can talk to talk into going easy on him. Like, Talk him into going easy on me for that final. I can't talk today. But sorry, sorry, buddy. That ball's in your court. What's in my court, you ask? Just a variety of delicious cheeses, meats, and their company crackers. Maybe some olives, a little bit of fig jam. Ugh. Yes, yes, I get it. You're excited about the cheese. Sweetie, you'll get it one day. But now I gotta go see a man about some... See a man about some manchego. Please leave. <laughs> okay, bye. Hey, you go. what's up? It's saving. Okay, it's saving already. I'm just gonna say one more time. I walk into the quaint French diner. And Hugo weighs me from, weighs me down to a booth in the corner. He looks pretty tired. Long day. Uh, Every day is a long day when you're when you teach middle schoolers. Oh. Colin started a gambling ring, which because of Jackie Chan were just a cover. He's bartending in those little rubber band, uh, bracelets that are also shapes. Is that the only one? Is that the one that parents think means sex stuff? Those ones, yeah, but the reports are just the sensationalist news media capitalizing on the fears of suburban parents, as usual. Hmm. At least I hope. Yikes. Ah. Right now, I'm very ready for some fine wine and some delicious cheese. A witch just stops and takes our order for the biggest cheese plate you'll have. For the love of God, please, just please put the cheese in my mouth and recommend us some wine. Do you want, do you want a square card for trivia? There's trivia? Yep, we're starting in a few minutes. Pretty much everyone here is playing. Oh. We love to play, right, Gokongo? Uh, yeah, sure. The waitress hands us a scorecard and a few pence before leaving. I might not be much help here. I'm not very good at being smart, I guess. Come on, I doubt it'll be too hard. Go, Congo! Oh, it's Matt. Oh, everybody's here. I turn to see Matt and Brian here with their daughters, looking like they're ready for trivia. They come up to our tables and greet us. Hey, guys, you're all here for an old question and answers game? Hey. Yep, we come here every week. But Brian and Daisy cured the team. Carmentine and I are just here for the cheese. <laughs> Provolone 2, Lost in New York. Ha have been reigning champions for the last month. Man, Brian's getting great tribute to you. That raises the stakes. Great name, though. Mmm, stakes. Solid team name. That's Carmen C. That's claim to fame. It hurts me how good I am at puns. Like father, like daughter. You guys are gonna have to give us a run for our money. Ah. Uh, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> I'm just here for the cheese. We'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll see what we can do to not hurt your feelings too bad. I will destroy you. We're just here for the cheese. I thought you heard your feelings too bad. <laughs> the cheese will taste so much better with a side of victory. 
Oh, Hugo likes that. Hugo and I bump fists. Tag team champions. Hmm. We'll have to think up of a good team name, but I think this will be fun. Good luck. Ryan, Matt, and their daughters head back to their tables. Well, I guess we need a name. Hmm. Got any good ideas? Oh, I got one. Um, for the, the, Hugo and Gokongo. <laughs> Hugh Kongo. <laughs> Hugh Kongo. That's our team name. <laughs> uh, uh, easy, breezy, beautiful. Havarti like it's 1999. Uh, Real Monsters. Uh, craziest... I've already like it's 1999. I've already like it's 1999. That'll do just nicely. The waitress comes by with her cheese board and revel in its glory. Already I see a piece of cheddar with my name on it. I pair it with some strawberry preserves and slide it into dairy-induced ecstasy. It's such a fine variety of cheese and uh, charcuterie. Charcuterie? Charcuterie? That I'm positively overwhelmed. A quick dip into the, se the seasoned nuts, a slice of savory yet salty gouda, or perhaps a ficosia fuck ficosia <laughs> crisp top with honey and goat cheese. I didn't swear. I didn't swear. I'm so happy. <laughs> you can raise this glass with me. Oh. Cheers to cheese. Hey, hey. A middle-aged man in the backwards ball cap, sunglasses, and cargo shorts jogs out to the back with the frene fren frenetic energy of a radio DJ. Hey, everybody ready for some trivia? The rest aren't cheers. Yeah, Oh man, looks like everybody's really into this. That's what I like to hear. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Quizmaster Quinn. My actual name's Richard. I just like alliteration. More cheers. My feelings. <laughs> it's Brian. My feelings hurt. <laughs> I see some of you brought your children here today. That's cool. My children won't speak to me. Hey! Haha, <laughs> I'm just joking around. Classic Quizmaster Quinn humor. It's actually my wife won't speak to me. She doesn't want kids. Let's get into some questions. I'm sorry, Quinn. Jeez. The first category is literature. Excellent. I am so sad. <laughs> oh, no. You know who loved literature? My dead father. I looked up to him so much. What? Is... <laughs> I am. So I am so sad. <laughs> wow. More jokes. Classic Quizmaster quips. Just trying to keep it light. Here, folks. Here, folks. Just like I thought my wife was the light of, the light, light of my life. Hugo, you got this literature stuff, right? Oh. Does Franz Kafka have a rational fear of one day waking up as large, grotesque, insight-like creature? Yes? This is the continent that encompasses the realms of Gondor, Rohan, Mordor, and... L L oh, is this a Lord of the Rings question? Most notable sites include Isengard, the Mirkwood, the Riverdale. What's the elvish name of this continent? Oh. Hoth? No, Hoth is Star Wars. I don't recognize the other ones. I'm gonna say Endor. Ooh! Wow. Thanks, Brian. Who's the writer that created Tarzan and John Carter of Mars? Um. Uh, I don't know. Uh. Oh, yeah, I have to look this up. <laughs> um. Um. Edgar Rice? Ooh! Evan Dante is, is, known be is better known as this man. Uh. I don't know. I, I, I have to look this stuff up. Gosh dang. Mmm. Frankenstein's mother? Wrong. Oh no. I think he's doing crowd work. He sits by my Hugo's table. Well, that cheese plate you got there. Oh, I, I answered wrong. Oh no. Oh man. Okay, hold on. Let me load that. Let me load this. Let me load this. Hold on. Hold on. Fast forward. Oh, no. Ah. Hey. Hey. Uh, try not to hurt you too bad. Hmm. 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 like it's 1999 because I like that name. Oh. Gonna Havarti like it's 1999. Oh. Andor. Uh, Edgar Rice. Uh, Counts of Monte Cristo. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys. I have a walkthrough. Uh, put it up here because just, just so that that's so that I could get all, I could get this ending. The quizmaster walks around the room. I think he's doing crowd work. Whoa, nice cheese plate you got there. Th thank you. How's that cheese tasting, big guy? Um, good. Haha, <laughs> great. Cheese used to be my favorite food, but I developed a lactose intolerance later in life. I'm sorry to hear that. I also developed clinical depression. Oh. But people don't tell you to just get over your lactose intolerance, right? Nobody, nobody's like, have you tried exercising to get rid of your de deliberating dairy allergy? Or you need to choose to not like your throat close up when you eat brie. Hmm. 
Anything? Is that scan? I'm trying to workshop my routine here. Quizmaster Quinn wanders off to another table. Who wants to start the next round? More cheers from the audience. Next round is cinema. Oh man, I love movies. Sometimes I'll retreat into them for days on end because obsessing over a fictional universe is easier than engaging with my real emotions and problems. Frodo Baggins, am I right? Is he okay? Oh. I think it's just his character. I hope. How's your cinema? Oh. Spotty. I don't know a lot about movies, but if there are any questions about bad horror movies, I can be of service. That's an interesting one. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a guilty pleasure. In Return of the Jedi, what does Luke ask Leia if she remembers? Uh. It's been a while. The father promised Jedi Order. The mother? Correct. What entertainer makes a. F oh, good. What entertainer makes a fourth wall breaking appearance in the films Gremlins 2? Uh, what does it say here? Hulk Hogan? Charlie Sheen. <laughs> I wish. Correct. Which is he say these horror movies dies. Uh, dies not featured in. Which of these Asian horror movies dies is not. Dies not feature. Oh, okay, whatever. Um. Poltergeist. Right. Seems like we're doing pretty well, but we're neck and neck with Brian and Matt's team. Those guys are pros. I look over to our table and give them a friendly but competitive nod. I'll lock eyes with Brian. He gets a much sterner nod. And the next category is wrestling. Okay, we're totally boned. Hugo grabs my arm. Oh! Wait, I got this. Huh? Man, you know who I would want to wrestle with? Literally anyone. I crave human interaction. Please put me on a chokehold. Please, it has been so long since I've been held. <laughs> this guy's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I can only process my emotions by making jokes out of them. Ha ha ha. I. Right. Let's start the quiz. Remember that this is the lightning round. The first people to answer the answer get the points. Okay, so what do we have here? Dogs. Zzzza. Otter. Okay, sure. I look over to Hugo. He's focused. He's in it to win it. Question one. This was the original name of Stone Cold Steve Austin in his de debut in the WWE. Hey. Hugo's hand shoots up. Yes. The enthusiastic one over there. Steve Austin debuted as the ringmaster. Yes. Oh, they both, they both said it at the same time. It sounds like they're in two different rooms. Oh. Next question. The city was the location of the first ever WrestleMania. Yes. Hugo's hand. Yes, the one who looks like he has known his answer for his entire oh. life. The first WrestleMania was held in New York, New York, at Madison Square Garden in 1985. Correct. Another correct answer for Harvanti like it's 1999. Hugo's destroying these questions. He's so passionate about this. I've never seen him act like this before. It's honestly kind of hot. <laughs> ooh. Ooh. Scandalous. Ooh, a tough one. Ugh. This title match went down in history as the shortest match in WrestleMania to date. He jumps up, more excited than I've ever seen him. Oh. Chavo versus Kane. Incorrect. Ooh, sorry, Buckle, that is incorrect. The answer is actually Daniel Bryan versus Sheamus in WrestleMania 28. I'm not angry. No, that's I'm absolutely just wrong. <laughs> the real record is Chavo Kureg versus Kane, WrestleMania 24, March 30th, 2008. Kane took down Chavo with one chokes. Choke slam and pinned him for a three count. I will not stand for this travesty. Hey man, I'm just reading for the card here. I don't actually write these. Well, you're still wrong. What are you, my ex-wife? My cra the crowd erupts a rafter. Hugo blushes. He retreats back to his chair. Mm -hmm. Fine. Wow, Hugo seems really fired up about that. Where do you get his encyclopedia of knowledge about wrestling? How do you know so much about wrestling? Uh... Oh, I, uh, you know, I just pick stuff up. That sounds suspect, but it seems like he doesn't want to talk about it. I turn my attention back to the quiz master. Oh. All right, all right, all right. We're down to the la down to the final category. It's a close one between Provolone 2 and Lost in New York. Brian and Matt high five, and Havarti like it's 1999. Hugo and I high five. Oh yeah. All right. We look over to Brian and Matt, Carmencita and Daisy, all playfully giving us thumbs down and stinging their tongues out. I eat a big chunk of cheddar without breaking eye contact to show them just how serious I am. The final category is cool animals. Animals, huh? I could never take another living. Uh, I could never take care of another living thing. Hell, I can barely take care of myself. Haha, <laughs> I'm falling apart. Anyway, here's the questions. The Canary Islands was named after what kind of animal? Uh, it says dogs here, so dogs. That's right. What's the last animal to appear in the dictionary? It's Correct. What mammal has the thickest concentration of fur in nature? What does it say here? Otter. That's right. Otter. All right, I'm just gonna come around and collect your scorecards, and we'll see who came out on top. Remember, the winning team gets twenty-five dollars to the fill to Phil's Auto Care. If you need a car part, Phil's with fulfill all your needs. Everyone oohs and ahs. Gosh, I want that gift card. The quiz master goes in his in the back to tally up the score. I pick up I pick at what's left of their cheese plate. There's a bit of brie here that tastes absolutely divine on a cracker with a little bit of honey and dried apricot. Oh. So what are your plans after a big win? Hmm, I'll probably retire, take Amanda somewhere tropical, drink something out of a coconut. Always wanted to do that. What about you? 
probably take my Winnie to Collins gambling gambling ring, bet all in black, walk out of here there with more rubber bands in the shape of animals than I know what to do with. Bold, but I like your style. Ah. You want the last piece of Favarti? Nah, it's all you. You definitely earned it. After a couple of minutes, the quiz master jogs back into the room. Everyone immediately quiets down, waiting with bated breath for the results. Who will win the coveted gift card? I really hope it's us. Hey, everybody! We've had a great night, lots of goops, lots of laughs. A little bit of light crying in the back, but that's neither near nor there. <laughs> By a landslide, the winner of tonight's contest is... Havarti like it's 1999! Come on down and get your gift card for Phil's Auto Care, where Phil Nominal Services... Ugh, God, I can't do this anymore. Please just take the gift card. <laughs> wow, it just breaks down. I motion for Hugo to get the gift card, and he shy shyly winks out of the booth to grab it. He pauses for a moment and gives the Quizmaster a hug with a few pats on the back. Quizmaster sobs. Just a little. Wow. Whoa, Matt, Matt just appeared out of behind the Quizmaster for a second. Hugo makes a victory laugh back to our table and gives me a high five. Yeah, Havarti like it's 1999 is unstoppable. Havarti like it's 1999 is great. May Havarti like it's 1999 reign for a thousand years. Hey, great work, guys. You guys did awesome. <laughs> we'll be seeing Havarti like it's 1999 again again next week. I'll go over at Hugo, who smiles. Maybe so. We'll make a pretty good team, huh, Hugo? Hey. Hugo blushes. Aw, man. Hugo and I walk back to, to where I called the sack, basking in the glow of our wind and nursing our cheese-filled bellies. Man, we crushed it in there. Absolutely hmm. crushed it. Finally, enjoyed the screens of young children for years on end has paid off, and I will take my half of this gift card and use it to purchase many, many air fresheners for my car, which Ernest refuses to stop va vaping in. <laughs> vaping in. I think I'll use my half to buy at least two tire pressure gauges to place in different parts of my garage. You never know when you're going to need one, and I prefer to have them within arm's reach. A fine plan. Shame about that one wrestling question, though. Hmm. I'm not kidding. I plan to write a strongly worded letter to whoever employed that man. Come on, there's got to be a story there. Um... What do you mean? You didn't even stop to think. You pulled that wrestling knowledge like uh, like you were there in the ring yourself. Oh, it's just stuff I know. You ask again or drop it. Uh, I'm gonna ask again. Hugo, I figured you'd be better at lying after dealing with every kid in school for as long as you have. I, uh, it's embarrassing. Ask again. You know what's actually embarrassing? Not being able to explain basic algebra to your daughter. You know what's def definitely not embarrassing? Knowing stuff about wrestling. Hugo sighs. Oh. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> all right, all right. If you really want to know, just follow me. All right, do it, do it. Uh huh. Hugo leads me to his house at the edge of the cul-de-sac. We step inside, and his house is exactly what I expected it to be—neat and filled top to bottom with books and arts. Did I drop any frames? I did drop some frames. That's fine. Hmm. Uh, welcome to my home. Sorry, it's so messy. His house is actually spotless. I follow him down the hallway. What are we doing? Hugo opens the door and ushers me inside. It's pitch black. He closes the door behind us. What? Oh. Hugo flips the switch and I finally understand. Whoa! It's all- everything's wrestling! Look at that! Whoa, I, I like that wrestler. Is that- is that one in the back there, John Cena? Is that one in the back there, John Cena? I think it might be. Curio cabinets packed with inbox wrestling action figures line with line the walls, along with posters, cardboard cutouts, and every piece of wrestling memorabilia imaginable. A giant widescreen TV sits on the deck down media stand. I'm speechless. I look over at Hugo, who's hovering by the door, doing everything to avoid eye contact. It's uh, this is really embarrassing. This is the coolest thing. Oh uh, wow, not a lot of people have seen this. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Whoa! Are you kidding? Look at all this stuff. This must have taken you forever to collect. Can I touch this? Go ahead. I pick up one of his replica championship belts and toss it over my shoulder. Do you smell? Do you smell what I am cooking? Hmm? I think the lie is, it's meatballs. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. I don't watch a lot of wrestling. I just think it's so cool how passionate you are about this. Oh, oh uh, yeah. I, uh, I really, really like wrestling. He's blushing so hard right now. Hugo, you brought the Ernest. Hugo, you brought the wrong kind of pizza rolls again. It's like Ernest just got home. He's yelling in from the hallway. I can see Hugo immediately deflate. Hmm? I told you, pizza rolls have less sodium. I want you to be healthy, son. Ernest comes in Hugo's wrestling room and wrestles around with disgust. He notices me and scoffs. I thought nobody was allowed in your precious wrestling room. I never said that. I just said you were not allowed and to take the action figures out of the boxes and pose them so that they were having, <laughs> they're having it with each other. Ernest gets flustered. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm going to go throw eggs and stuff. Have fun with your stupid wrestling crap. Ernest leaves, then a moment later, pops his head back in the room. Your stupid friend. 
Ernest storms back out of the room. I hear a door slam. Hugo wearily runs in his hand through his hair. I don't know. Sorry about him, and sorry I have to keep apologizing about him. He's going through a phase, I guess. Hmm. I try so hard to impress him, but it's obvious that no matter what I do, he hates me. Ernest has to think about authority figures, and you don't, and you don't get much more author authoritative than a teacher dad. My ex. He gets to be the fun weekend dad, and I'm just Hugo, who makes Ernest eat his vegetables and turn his homework in on time. Hey, you love him and you're looking out for his best interests. Take it from your from one dad to another. Someday he'll come to appreciate you. Maybe someday, maybe not someday soon, but someday. I hope so. Hey. Thanks for letting me vent. Hugo glances at his watch. Hey. Suppose it's getting kind of late. Let's do trivia again sometime soon, huh? I would absolutely love to. I start to leave. And hey, thanks for showing me around your left. Thanks for showing me your wrestling stuff. Maybe you can tell so, uh, tell me some more about it sometime. Hugo smiles. Ah. That would be amazing. I'll catch you around. All right, you did it. It only takes me a minute to walk back home. Uh, wow, I thought you didn't like reading. Oh. I don't. This book is all pictures. Dad. And even in then, my patience is being tried. Ugh. Did you get to eat all the cheese your little heart desired? I am I am a happy little cheese monster. But I made sure to leave room for dinner. What's breakfast for dinner? <laughs> Hash browns. Okay. Yeah. Toast if an egg. All <laughs> blueberry pancakes. Well, only if you help me make them. You know I'm the world's best blueberry sprinkler, and also totally amazing at heating up some maple syrup in the microwave. Now tell me all about that cheese board. Matt and I spend the evening cooking an elaborate breakfast with everything we can find inside the fridge. I tell her all about the trivia, but leave some parts about Hugo being into wrestling. I figure she would probably be some the fairest way to use that information for a better grade. Oh, very, very clever. We did it! Ooh, look at all those points. Looks like Paradise Lost just, just got, got found. found. Very nice. Oh, very nice. I did it. Right. Well, it's been a long day. I'm just about ready to pack it in. After a few bites of ice cream for the freezer, I turn off all the lights and walk down the hall to the room. To my room. I wonder if Amanda is still awake. That kid needs some sleep. As I pass her room, I can hear a faint sound, but can't quite make out what it is. I get a little closer. Is she crying? I knock gently on the door. Hey, Amanda? The cry immediately stops. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Have you seen this before, have you? Not right now. Is everything okay? Uh, did something happen? Can't leave her alone. It's a cop. Whoa, okay. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I support you 100%. Uh, the best friend? Right. You got it! Wow, proud of you. She got the acceptance that I've been feeling. She's dripping away, you know? She's been spending a lot more time with Grace and MVP. I thought I was all in my head for a while. Yikes. Oh. So, an important piece of information. I have a crush, I have a crush on Noah. And, uh, that's the thing. What? Whoa, I, I had no idea. Wow. <laughs> okay, I, we've seen all this before. Oh, I, I feel so bad for Amanda, though. The gossipy one? Mm. I know. Grace is one I uh, know he really likes. What did MR say? Mm -hmm. Uh, cannot believe that. Ah. Ah. Oh. It's not dumb. Uh, my friends would do that. Okay, keep that. I love you too, Dad. Oh, I love that. I love that voice clip. Welcome. Aww. You got that. Uh, if you guys want to watch that. That scene. I think we did it in the first part, uh, in the very first part of this uh, series, or the second part. So you can go watch that. Hugo, let's get back into it, buddy. I'm sure. You know what they say about third dates? They get pretty serious. Are you sure this is your dream, Daddy? I'm sure. I'm very positive. Let's do this. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta make... Hold on. Okay, gotcha. Got it. Got it. Ever since the first night of uh, Carchucci's Pie, Hugo and I have made a point out to visit... Uh, made a point out of weekly visits such a trivia night. I've already, like, it's 1999 has come in first place ever since. Despite Provolone 2, lost in New York's continual efforts to dethrone us. I've been able to do a complete overhaul of the interior of my car thanks to all the... 
fills auto care gift cards we receive, air fresheners, car chargers, you name it. Amanda's riding in the lap of luxury. Aside from the trivia nights, I don't actually get to see Hugo a lot. The end of the school year is coming up and he seems to be having a lot of trouble dealing with the stress of teaching. I should do something nice for him. Maybe help him take his mind off from screaming teenagers. Books? He likes books, but I would have no idea where to even start with that. He probably reads more books in the month I've read in the past year. I know he's usually into wrestling, but he's been reluctant to talk about it since he showed me his wrestling room. I know he's kind of shy about it, but maybe. Whatever, let's roll the dice. I think I have a plan. <laughs> hey, hey, alright folks, looks like we finally have the points tallied and we're ready to announce our winner. You know who else is the winner? Me, because I've finally just seen how beautiful and loving my wife is. Aw, oh, man. Oh, a few weeks ago, all the regular stage regular stage and intervention for Quizmaster Quinn, we sat down in a circle and told him that we wanted to see him be better and love himself. He started. He agreed to start going to couples therapy with his wife, and last time he told us they adopted a dog together. Aw, I love you forever, my Quizmaster Queen. I can't tell which version of Quizmaster Quinn I prefer. Hmm? There were things to like and dislike about both. Huh. And the winner is, for the fourth week in a row, how far too like it's 1999. Hugo oh. and I cheers our small slices of camembert and I go up to accept their gift card, along with an unfortunately long hug, a comfortably long hug from Quizmaster Quinn. May I've already like it's 1999, reign supreme, uh, reign be as long as, and wonderful as my marriage to my beautiful wife. Oh. You make our celebratory round of high fives to the rest of the cheese. Ah, high five, man. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> and sit down and finish our cheese board, savoring every last bit of baruta with pesto and slices of tomatoes. Hey, I got a surprise for you. Hmm. For me? Yes, and once it's not, it isn't more cheese. Oh. Well, if you think you could somehow top that, be my guest. I pull out a book that I've been carefully hiding in one of my pockets and slide over to Hugo. Hmm. Oh. Hugo picks up the book and reads the title aloud. Oh. Harry Butt's Crapper Keeper? I wanted to get you a book, but I figured you probably already own every classical piece of literature, so uh, I thought this would be fun. For when you're pooping. Hey. Hugo laughs. You should flip through it. Hugo looks up and... Let me erase an eyebrow. Flipping through a couple pages, he finally comes across a small gift I strategically hid inside. Oh. You're kidding me! He goes looks around, worried that he may have seen. Hey. He leans in. You're kidding me! He pulls out wrestling tickets I hid in the Crapper Keeper. Is this the World Federation of Wrestling's a Wrestling's Power Slam series? You've been working so hard lately. I thought you'd like him. Like him? Hey. I. I love this. Thank you. But wait, there's two? Yeah, I figured we could go together. Huh? You'd go with me? Heck yeah, I need you to explain the finer points of wrestling to me, though. Hugo gets up, walks around the table, and effortlessly, effortlessly picks me up with a big bear hug. Has, has he been this strong the whole time? I've I, I made myself a pretty big dad. Hey. Thank you. And then I'll a little squeak to sort of say you're welcome. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. Look at him. I never seen him in this outfit. Holy crap. Whoa. He's actually, he's actually pretty, he's actually pretty, 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 uh, how do you say? Hot, they say. Hot. <laughs> um, so now I have the power slam. Hugo shows up at my store stuff in a loud, oversized wrestling tee. He's still blushing extremely cute. He's a absolute dreamboat. Here we go to the wrestling. We drive about an hour to another city for a big event. Hugo spends the entire ride teaching me the basics of wrestling and the terminology I need to know. So, it's fake, right? Hmm. Well, yes and no. While wrestling and the act of hunt hurting each other, hurting another wrestler is fake, the work requires remarkable athleticism and oftentimes results in actual injury. Those people are getting hurt, sure, but not in the way we're led to believe. Historically, wrestling as we know it is today was created by carnival workers to fix gambling, and the people who actually believed it to be real and would bet on these matches were called marks. Mark pliers? <laughs> That's now we know that it's technically fake, but still choose to suspend our disbelief makes us smarks. Smart marks. So I should be watching this for the acrobatics? Oh. And the tension and the drama and even the storylines. I think that anything or anyone can tell a good story. You just have to look for the story. Even something that uh, like what we're about to experience will tell a phenomenal will tell a phenomenal, sometimes underrated story. Understated story, despite a ridiculous premise. Wow. Hmm? What? I just really wouldn't have paid you for for a huge wrestling fan. <sighs> Nobody does, I get it. I'm a button-down teacher type. I like poetry and art history. I write dissertations and heavy tomes tomes of Russian by Russian authors for fun. But I like wrestling. It's a big part of who I am because it's considered kind of lowbrow. I feel like I can't share it with anybody because they'll make just make fun of me. Till now? He goes smiles to himself. Oh. Till now. Hmm. Oh man. Aw. Wow, look at this wrestling ring filled with colorfulness. Hugh and I enter the stadium and are directed to the upper level. After grabbing some stacks, we make our way up the set of stairs. The further up we go, the more my heart sinks. I thought I thought we'd gotten good seats, but by this point, the ring looks like a postage stamp. We finally settle in our spots and wait for the match to start. 
Ah, I'm sorry, I thought I got his tickets on a lower level. I look over to Hugo, who apparently didn't even hear me. He's vibrating with excitement. Oh. This is so cool. I guess he doesn't mind. I have to admit, I've been too embarrassed to come to one of these since I was a kid. What's there to be embarrassed about? Everybody's here. Everybody here loves wrestling. Plus, we're even going to see that we know. We're like an hour out of Maple Bay. Mm -hmm. I guess you're right. So what do we have to look forward to tonight? Ah. Oh, man. The lineup is stacked. All the matches are going to be great. But the one I'm really looking forward to is the Eastern Dragons match. The Eastern Dragon? Yeah, he used to wrestle as Pablo Escobar, but I guess he eventually had to change him. Um, Wrestler names are weird. He eventually, he actually, he's actually an Iranian guy from Utah. Oh, so that's where your shirt's from. Yep, I've been following the guy since his debut in Indie Wrestling League, and he's, it's been amazing to see him rise to the ranks and into the professionals. Who's he up against? The corporate shill. Technique-wise, I don't think he's that good of a wrestler, and I don't even think the fans like him. Certainly an interesting character, though. Ah. The stadium lights dim, and the crowd starts screaming. Butt rock blasts through the sound system, and some proud technique set up the ring. Ladies and gentlemen of the Solo crowd in Mill Creek, Massachusetts. Who's ready to power slam? Who could I scream? <laughs> we watch two wrestlers, the Southern Dandy and Johnny Snowman, walk out to even more... Oh, listen to this. Oh, yeah. That's more butt rock. The Southern Dandy mixes and drinks a, a mint julep in the ring before the match. The crowd eats it up. Mm -hmm. the Southern Dandy's from Maine. Is Johnny Snowman not from the South Pole? Mm -hmm. He's from Georgia, actually. After a long... Whoa, whoa. Johnny Snowman, who's dressed up in some... Like a muscular elf, does what Hugo calls a German suplex on, a southern, on the Southern Dandy. What... Kill him, Johnny. I don't know what's happening, but it's amazing. What? What? What does it say? What did I just watch? What did I just watch? It's like a death ballet where oily, muscly dudes hug each other for the point of exhaustion. You're not wrong. Oh. <laughs> Wrestling is a sport of communication. All these guys train together to not to know not only how to perform moves, but how to respond to them. It allows them to look like they're being hurt, but only be be kind of hurt. The crowd cheers as Johnny Snowman pins the Southern Danny is and that's the winner. The next match features a wrestler named Generation Y2K and who comes out looking like a hipster barista. He takes selfies with fans on the way up to the ring and pauses after every one to post it on Instagram. He's really playing up to the millennial thing, huh? He's sort of the boogeyman to old-timer wrestling fans. His opponent, the old-timer, walks out. Oh. The crowd seems to be divided in who they're rooting for. The old-timer brings out some pretty sweet moves after he takes out a walking cane from under the stage and beats Generation Y2K over the head with it. Up against the ropes, Generation Y2K blinds the old-timer with a flash on his camera phone and is able to pin him to win the match. He takes a celebratory selfie with his unconscious opponent. During a break, Hugo and I leave to get refills from the concession stands. We wind our way through clusters of wrestling fans to get to the line. So, what do you think so far? Uh... I'm glad I'm it's actually cool. I'm glad I'm here with you. The wrestling is cool, but I really like seeing you so enthusiastic. It's don't say hot. Don't say hot. Cool. Ah. <laughs> well, that worked. You know, I'm kind of impressed. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I was sort of expecting the crowd to just be a bunch of aggressive, sweaty older guys, but it's so diverse. I've even seen a bunch of families with their kids. Everyone looks so happy to be here. Ah. Oh yeah, that's how I got into wrestling. When I was a kid, my dad used to take me and my brothers to matches all the time. There's one gaggle of kids loitering on the corner that are exceptionally loud. Even over the din of the stadium, looking closer, I can't help but feel like these kids seem familiar. Oh gosh, I know these kids. They're Hugo students. Uh, so don't turn around when I tell you this, but some of your students are here. Hugo immediately tenses up. <sighs> My guy can't let them see, them see me here. They'll never listen to me ever again. I position myself between the kids and Hugo, hoping that I could act as a human shield. I, I mean, I'm big enough. <laughs> I glance over the group of children again, and I recognize that Colin kid. He kisses one of his friends in the shins and laughs. Man, that Colin kid is a piece of work. Colin, if he sees me here, he'll never let, let it go. He's a master manipulator. We have to get back to the relative. Oh, we have to go. We have to go. Sneaking music. We have to get back to the relative safety of our seats. What's the plan? Uh, This is a sneaking mission. We gotta be sneaky if we're gonna get back in the ring unscathed. How quiet are you? I've gotten pretty good sneaking up on my students who are texting under the desk during class, so I can be pretty quiet if need be. Perfect. Oh, he, <laughs> he like lays low. He just like sulks down. We need to find some cover to hide behind as we navigate back to our seats. Where to? Uh... Quick inside my shirt. What? There's no time to explain. Just trust me. I lift up... <laughs> there he goes. I lift up my shirt and pull it down over Hugo. His body flush against my chest. I start shuffling us towards the door. A few people stare at us, but nobody can tell it's Hugo. At this point, Hugo is nestled gently against me. It's actually kind of nice. Once we get closer to the ring, he shimmies out of my shirt. Ah. Well, it works. Somehow. 
You and I sit down and breathe a huge sigh of relief. Phew, that was close. Now we, can get, now we can hide out for the rest of the night and enjoy ourselves in the comfort of anonymity with a large crowd. The lights dim again. Oh. This is the match we've been waiting for. The corporate show walks out, of the, uh, walks out to elevator music. He's wearing a three-piece suit and sunglasses. Once he gets to the ring, he takes off his glasses and rips off his sleeves, uh, re sleeves off his suit jacket, flexing his arms to the crowd. One of the people from his entourage produces a graph chart and sets it up in the center of the ring. Why a graph chart? Hi, you. Hi, uh, train yet at. Hey, welcome on Twitch. Hi. I don't want to seem rude, but I have a question for you. Is the game safe for stream? It is generally. It, it is. The dialogue in this game is. There's no, like, explicit scenes, but the way the dialogue states it, it's kind of a little bit NSFW, but it should be fine to stream. And, um. There is, there's like a streamer safe mode, but I think that only applies to one of the dads. So, I, and it's generally, it, it is generally safe. So I would, I would, I would bet my money on it. But uh, hey, welcome to the stream, and I hope you enjoy. We're, I think we're almost done with Hugo here, and, and we're gonna see if we're gonna go on with other, um, other, uh, other routes. I'm sorry, <laughs> but welcome anyway. If you're, if you are still here. Da -da -da. Oh, you said hi, and the si Sai Hyo? Where, where's that? Where's that? Um, where's that emote from? I don't know. Okay, well, let's just get going then. The corporate shield grabs a microphone. I got a message for the Eastern Dragon. If you refer to the graph in the center of the ring, you'll see a quarterly projection of how much I'm about to kick your butt. And okay, that's an example there. That that word there. I mean, I don't I don't say those words. On, on, like, its channel or on stream. Uh, but I know what they are, right? <laughs> the whole crowd erupts. Now, if you'll direct your attention to the Jumbotron, we all look up at the PowerPoint presentation tile, kicking the Eastern Dragon's butt, <laughs> the key performance indicators. The corporate shield takes a laser pointer and gives a lengthy presentation on just how and why he'll defeat the Eastern Dragon. He showcases several well utilized clip art graphics. <laughs> this is awesome. This is really cool. That was informative. The lights dim again and pan flute music plays. I think it's a, I think it's a pan flute. I'm actually not sure if I know what a pan flute sounds like. The Eastern Dragon walks out and cheers walks out to cheers from the crowd. Aren't uh, pan flutes a Central American thing? He goes shrugs. Oh. Wrestling. The Eastern Dragon stands outside the ring and grabs a microphone. Corporate chill. It's nice to see you again. More cheers from the crowd. That was a good presentation. The clip hour is a very nice touch. He points to the corporate show menacingly. I'm looking forward to a nice and exciting match. The crowd doesn't really know what to do here. Hmm. He's uh, he's not the best at trash talk, but I promise he's one of the most talented wrestlers you'll ever see. Ding ding, the match starts and it's just as exciting as Hugo had hyped it up to be. The Eastern Dragon performs some ridiculous aerial stunts that make me concerned for his safety. Uh, <laughs> he does what Hugo calls a moonsault over the top rope onto the corporate shell. The air in the stadium is electric as these two athletes lock arms and try to demolish one another, but can't help but get into it. I can't help but get into it. The corporate shield uh, power drives the Eastern Dragon, who looks passed out in the center of the ring. He climbs up the top rope and motions to the cheering crowd. Oh no, he's about to do his finishing move! The corporate ladder! The corporate shield poses at the top of the rope. The Eastern Dragon still isn't moving. Could this be the end of his young career? Get up, Eastern Dragon! You can do it, Eastern Dragon! The corporate shield launches up the top of the rope with a huge arch. He brings his elbow down the Eastern Dragon with full force of a Fortune 500 company putting local vendors out of business. Ooh, the corporate shill pins the Eastern Dragon, and the match ends. Hugo sinks into his chair. Uh, Man, he should have won that. I sit down with Hugo. What a match. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. I think I'm a fan of wrestling now? Hugo looks over to me, and our eyes catch. I'm glad. The event goes on, and we have a little we have a little downtime before the next match. We decide to just relax in our seats and avoid the middle schoolers. It's unlikely they would ever notice us in the upper-level nosebleeds. I look up at the Jumbotron. Oh, hey, they're doing kiss cam the kiss cam thing. It is. Oh, no. Oh no, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh no. Oh no, this is bad. Uh, it's, uh cucumbers who do a quick smooch to raucous cheers from the crowd. Oh, that's so nice. And then Susan, uh, Hugo and I. Huh? What? What? What do I do here? I look over to Hugo and see the same mortifying expression on his face. The entire crowd is chanting and neither of us know what to do. Uh, do I give the crowd what they want? What is it? They give the crowd what they want, it says. 
to give the crowd what they want. I slightly lean in and awkwardly tilting my head. Cheers from the crowd erupt all around me. I look back out to the Jumbotron and see a couple making behind us making out with full force. Oh. Hugo and I turn beet red and slink back into our chairs. <laughs> so much for laying low, I guess. The rest of the match thankfully goes off without incident. Hugo and I eventually laugh off the kiss cam and get back into the wrestling. After the show ends, he convinces me to hang back and let the rest let the rest of the crowd exit so we wouldn't risk running to call in his awful group of friends. By the time Hugo and I walk back to his car, most of the wrestling fans have cleared out. The parking lot is surprisingly empty, is surprisingly empty save for a big up car parked in a few spots down from us. We rarely keep an eye out for any straight middle schoolers as we hang out by my car. Man, that was an experience, ah. right? It's one of the, it's one thing to watch on TV, but to be there in person is just, wow. Thank you again. I would have never got to experience this if it weren't for you. It's just me and Hugo in front of the car, in an empty parking lot. Mm, I wonder what I wonder what that means. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I look down. Kind of funny about the kiss cam, huh? Hmm. Yeah, it was super funny. But neither of us are smiling. We look into each other's eyes and I can feel a warmth radiating from my cheeks. We stare into each other for a little bit, just for a little bit too long. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, cool shirt! I turn around to see a guy in a hoodie and basketball shorts walking up to us, a duffel bag slung over his shoulder. I haven't seen one of those in years. What? Oh, what? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I got it from a trade with this guy from streetsmarks.net. Street I love that website. Someone always posts these awesome, super detailed breakdowns with matches in the indie circuit. Have you seen those? The name's like, uh, j just something. JD, JD Slaminger? Yeah, that's him. Those, those are my write-ups. You're JD Slaminger? You're kidding. Oh man, I'm such a huge fan of your work. It's so nice to meet you. The man vigorously shakes Hugo's hand. Ah. I'm honored. Oh man, I wish I could stay in chat. I have so many questions, but, but I'll PM you on the forums if you ever want to talk shop. Absolutely. The man starts walking away. Hugo coughs nervously to get his attention again. Um, is there any chance you could sign my shirt? The guy turns around and beams. Sure thing. Wait. It all finally clicks into place for me. You're the Eastern Dragon. I love your work. <laughs> Thank you, man. The Eastern Dragon signs Hugo's shirt, waves goodbye, and walks to his car. I stand there with his with my mouth open the entire time. That was the Eastern Dragon. Oh. He he likes my work. Dude, you're like friends with the Eastern Dragon now. He's gonna PM me. He and I high five. That was a really loud high five. He's so excited. He's shaking. Mr. Vega? Oh man. Colin and his cronies just pop out of nowhere. Oh no, here we go. Sweet man, Chago. Sweet man, Chago, here he comes. Colin, nice to see you and your friends all the way out here. What are you doing here? I don't see you in the library anywhere near us. <sighs> I. I was watching the Power Slam series with my friend. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Vega likes wrestling? What a fart knocker. That's actually. That's actually pretty cool. Sh wow, shut up, you. Nah, man, that's actually rad. <laughs> Colin's friends, all as a collective. <laughs> nah, man, that's rad as heck. Who are you talking to? Probably one of your stupid book nerd friends. Actually, he was talking to his good buddy, the Eastern Dragon. All Colin's friends gasp. Guys, come on, he's lying. There's no way the Eastern Dragon would hang out with these losers. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, how did I get his autograph then? Colin's friends lose their minds, screaming their heads off. Colin is red with anger. Mm. See you in class. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What? Oh my god, he did not. You have to just pull that. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> that's amazing. That's so that's so cool. You you can't say that. Who's gonna believe you? Who can I hop in the car <laughs> to the tune of more children screaming? We laugh all the way home. Wow. Who can I descend the stairs of the tone? That was crazy. <laughs> Hugo and I descend the stairs as we of his home as into his wrestling man cave where we both crack a beer. We're both winding down after an exciting evening. So if you were a wrestler, what would your persona be? Hugo and I imme answers immediately. Ah. J.D. Simoner, my forum name. I gotta represent my literary roots. My costume would be a, a tweed coat and my finishing move would be a catcher in the eye. Where I poke my opponent's eyes out and call him a phony. You're a phony! Wow. Hmm. I'm getting a lot of thought. What about you? Hmm. It would be... Dad? Mario Brutale. Mario Brutale. I come out in a bright orange croc bright orange crocs in my hair and a ponytail while I wield a spot a slot spoon. My finishing move is don't forget eat my spaghetti, where I bit my opponent and force feed them my delicious homemade meatballs. If you if you if you know what I mean. I'm just not realizing that realizing that I don't know any actual any actual wrestling moves. You know I could teach you some. I smirk. 
I'm game. Higo and I square up in the center of the room, ready to go at it. Mm -hmm. I'll go easy on you. Oh, Mar on Mario Brontali? Absolutely not. And before I know it, I'm on the floor. Hugo wraps his leg around me and squeezes. I can't move. Hey. It is a figure four leg lock. If I were applying full force right now, you would be in extreme pain. He effortlessly twists around again and grabs my arm. Good lord, he's strong. Any movement on my end is useless. And this is an arm bar. You're... Uh, pretty good. Hmm? You can tap out anytime you like. Not... a... Uh, chance. He go flip. Whoa! He go flips around one last time on top of me. He hooks his arm under my leg and presses my body down on my chest. Hey. And this is me pinning you. Our faces are inches are inches apart from me uh, right now. I can't tell if I'm breathing heavily because of the physical interactivity of, or something of, or because of something else. Go for it. I lean forward and kiss Hugo, who seems just as surprised as I am. I pull back, a little embarrassed, but he kisses me again. He slowly re releases his submission hold on me and cradles my face in his hands. He presses his forehead against mine and we laugh. I guess we both win? Guess so. I pull him back for another kiss. Do you have any other moves to show me? Hey. I think I might have a few. <gasps> Ooh! Oh boy! Oh baby! Oh baby boy! We did it! Top rope, luchador. Sincerity, woodworking. All right, that's good. Yes. That was so good. You gave me goosebumps. Dun 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 dun. You you get it? Goosebumps. The show. Mm, okay. I, I think he was referring to the book because he reads those. Whew, I think I have everything finally set up. Amanda should be here any minute, minute now. I think that's his, her car in the driveway. Okay, gotta act natural. Be cool, go go go. Go, 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 Kunko. Be cool. Meta walks through the door with a suspicious look on her face. Hey, Dad. Off to a good start. Mm. Something fishy? Rats. What? No. Oh, that's too many questions, sweetie. Come on now. I mean, who would ask questions like that? Who who asks questions? That's... Uh, sorry, sweet. Oh, no. I, uh, had a crab cake sandwich for lunch. That's probably it. You're allergic to shellfish. Oh. Oh, no. I forgot. Again. Dad. Oh gosh, I'm gonna be sick. What have I done? I'm kidding. You're right. I have a little surprise for you. <gasps> Madam, my dear, would you get to join me in the kitchen? Fill my heart with glee. Oh, we saw this already, didn't it? Whip out the cloth off the table. Amanda's jaw drops. No way! Oh yeah, this one. The box set. Hey. Oh, surprise! Whoa! Dad, everyone's here. Well, yeah, everyone wanted to come and support you. Is that a mac and cheese bar? Sure is. Fully customizable, down to the type of Mac. And there's an ice cream cake, the good kind, with the crunchies in the middle. Yes. I... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just go have fun with your pals, alright? I'm so proud of you, Amanda. Amanda smiles and runs to her friends. I should make the rounds and make sure everyone's having a good time. Ella Hugo's in his, uh... In his... In his, uh... Pablo... In his wrestling shirt. Oh, that's awesome. But first, Mac and Cheese. Kukongo! Kukongo! Quizmaster! Hey, hey! Who's ready for a crazy graduation party? You, uh, you don't have to be on right now, Quinn. It's just a party. What do you mean? It's the, uh, you know what? Keep that energy. Hold it close. You deserve it. Just like me and my loving wife deserve happiness, right? You know it. Kukongo! Brian, you made it. <laughs> ha, don't pass up a good on a good Mac. What do you think of the party? It's not bad. Just not bad? <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Don't let him bait you. Don't let him bait you. Thank you for the lovely compliment. Daisy trots up. Hi, I'm Emma's dad. Hey, Brian's daughter. See, see how that feels? <laughs> this is a really great party. Thanks so much for inviting us. You're very welcome, tiny child who knows how to pay a compliment. Brian and I lock eyes. This isn't over. Hey, bro. Bro, this is a real rager. Thanks for taking our older age into consideration. I'm trying to be in bed at a reasonable hour tonight. Don't let me get too wild. Hey. Don't worry, dude. I'll keep an eye on your fruit punch intake. You know, I'm really glad we were bros again. Me too, dude. Briar and Hazel peek out behind Craig. Hey there. Hey guys. Hi little ones. Hello. Hiya. Thank you for all that ice cream cake. Hmm. Wait, girls, how much of that did you eat? Briar ate four pieces. Ask any witness. No I didn't. Hazel ate four pieces and wants to pit on me because we look alike. I have your face. Nobody will ever believe you. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'll let you guys figure this out. Good seeing you, Craig. Let's hang soon, okay? Hello. Totally. Tell Amanda congrats for us. Looks like you've settled into the neighborhood quite nicely. Yep, couldn't ask for a better clothes sac. Oh. Well, I'm glad. Hopefully, we'll see you at more church events. Uh, we got a big schedule planned for the rest of the year. Sure thing, Joseph. Hmm. And maybe if you aren't doing anything later, we could hang out sometime. Sure, Joseph. That'd be great. Well, see you later. 
Hey. Hey. Robert gestures vaguely to the snack table. Good stuff. Yep. See you later. Hey. Hey, man. Matt. Let me know when Amanda leaves for college. I'll have a fresh batch of right said banana bread ready for her. Thank you. I know she'll love that. Uh. What a splendid party. My deepest thanks for extending an invitation to my son and I. This icebox cake is divine. Yeah, thanks, dude. Good cake. Thanks for coming by. Hey. I turn to see Ernest, looking like he has something to say. Hey, Ernest. Uh, thanks for being nice to my dad. Whoa. People are really mean to him sometimes. I mean, I guess I am too. But, um, he seems happy when you're around, so, uh, that's cool. Well, geez, Ernest, I don't know what to say. You know, I think people got you paid wrong. You got a soft side. You tell anyone I told you that, I'm gonna get your, I, I'm gonna set your trash can on fire. There it is. Also, you don't know me. <laughs> Before I can respond, Ernest walks away. A cloud of vapor trailing behind him. Well, that was at least a little pleasant. As the party starts to wind down, I take a seat on our back porch step. The sun is setting and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. Amanda wanders over and sits down next to me. Killer party, Pops. What can I say? I was inspired. So, I, uh, I also have something for you. For me? Why? Huh. Growing up wasn't easy and it could have been a lot harder if it wasn't for you. Dad, you've been there for me at, through everything. There's, there's been times in my life where you were my only friend. Huh? I was really scared of going to college and being so far away from you, but I realized that everything you've done for me has been to, has, to, has been to prepare me for this, and I'm ready. I wouldn't be who I am today without you. Don't cry, don't cry. I swear to, I swear to God, Gokunku, go, 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 I can't even say my own name. Gokungo, if you cry again, you're the best dad. I love you. And I'm crying. Anyway, that was enough emotional vulnerability for one day. <laughs> Present time. Has a tiny wrap package. A frame picked of me and Amanda. It's, it's us. Hmm. Kind of shocking all of our photo albums are just pictures of me, huh? I figured we need at least one together before I leave. Amanda, I thank you. Knock him dead, kid. I always do. Share a hug. It's the only the beginning, Pops. Plenty more memories. Memories to make and stuff to break. Oh, I'm gonna break so much stuff. It would be my honor. Then it hops up. Looks like someone's been waiting to talk to you. I glance over to the back of the yard, where Hugo was sitting on the bench beneath our cherry blossom tree. He smiles at me. I'll leave you to it. Me and the Emma's are gonna go get ice cream. Pew. Love you, Pops. Pew pew. <laughs> Runs off and joins her friends. I take a seat next to Hugo at the last. Ooh, hello. To Hugo as the last guests make their way out of the party. Cool shirt. Mm. Thanks, it reminds me of a special night. So the secret's out, huh? Hugo likes wrestling. You know, I was really nervous to come here dressed like this, but everybody in the neighborhood, they were, no they were nothing but accepting of me and my hobbies. It turns out that Craig's a huge fan too. And Colin told everyone at school that I'm into wrestling, but it actually backfired on him. The kids have a weird, have a weird sort of respect for me now. A few of them even asked me to be the sponsor of the wrestling club. Hmm. Not the Olympic wrestling. The wrestling that I like. I actually like both, but there's an important distinction, and I think you know which one I'm talking about. See, just goes to show there's nothing wrong with being open about what you like. Ah. I agree. As long as I'm being open, I'm also a huge fan of a very handsome dads who throw great parties for their kid and love a good word jumble. I guess that's I guess that's me. I blush. And I'm a big fan of quick, think of something clever. Hugo's? <laughs> it's Hugo specifically. Hugo laughs. Ah. He he drapes an arm around my shoulder and pulls me closer. He plants a soft kiss on my forehead. I'm happy here. Me too. Hugo and I watch the sun dip below the horizon together. Hey, do you think maybe later you could show me some new wrestling moves? Oh. Go Congo, how about I show you my plump handled pile driver? I can't help but giggle. <laughs> What's that? Oh. You'll see. Ooh. 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 Don't do it in front of the kids. <laughs> there we go. There's the there's the Hugo route. That's Hugo. Boy oh boy. Was that nice? I quite like that. I really like that. Very, 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 very innocent. I'm just gonna go through here. Who is, who was Hugo? Yeah, Ray Navarez Jr. He's a very well-known streamer. Who did the Penguin minigame? Uh, Aquam, Aquama, Aquama, Rachel. You guys are great. Very nice. Oh, Aqu Aquama did most of the minigames. Oh shoot, okay, I guess we'll get to those pretty soon. Game from the game rubs. Hooray! That's it! Oh, there he is. There's Hugo. Whoa! Oh, this cheese. Oh, man. That's awesome. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's so handsome. We. Wow. Alright, that was Hugo's route. 
I think we have time. Should we do one more? I'm not sure. Let's let's try let's try to do one. Let's try to do one more. I just love I just love that tile screen. Dream Daddy is gonna be your dream. Dream Dream Daddy. Alright, alright, alright. You know what? Let's uh let's meet this for a second and I'll be I will actually be right back and when we do get back we're gonna do we're gonna try and do some more dream daddy all right we're gonna uh we're gonna try do let's see who do, who do you want to pick this time who do you want to pick um you know what let's do matt or oh oh the dad and the dad's light up depending on who you got oh that's cool uh i heard brian's like really tough i mean he is technically um let's go for matt let's go for matt next let's go for matt when we come back when we come back we're going to go for Matt. See you then. And we are back. We are back into the Dream Daddy game. Let's turn this up a little bit. There we go. Who's going to be Dream? So, we are now going to be going for... We're going to go for Matt. That's the lovely, lovely barista. Let's, uh, let's, go, let's go to the gallery first. We got Craig. There he is. Look at look at all look at all handsome. And we got Hugo, very nice, oh, very nice. And it seems like they were done by two different artists. I think, looks like it. Yeah, but they're both nice. Yeah, there's Craig. There's him right there. All right, new game. That means it's time to create another dad. Wow, wow. Dad, wake up. Uh, wake up. I have my eyes. Dad breath. And now let's build a dad. Okay, we gotta make this one even more, even more special. All right, we'll make this guy pretty buff, like that. Oh no, let's make him, let's make him the skinny type. Let's make him, let's make him like this. Yeah, let's make him like that. Okay, and skin tone. Ooh, uh, let's go with this. Uh, top of head. Oh, very chiseled, very ch <laughs> skinny, very chiseled. Yes, I like that. Hair. Aaron here, Danny here. Actually, let's make let's make this guy Danny. I like I like, I like that idea. Ooh, maybe. Ooh, is this is this Attica? <laughs> um, yeah, let's do let's make it let's make him Attica. Let's make him Attica World Network. And I gotta yeah, of course, gotta give him this that hair. Yes, there we go. <laughs> this is so weird. Eyes, Sugoi eyes, Shoju eyes, Space Warrior eyes, yes, fantastic. Uh, eye color, mm -mm. oh, it doesn't change that, okay, fine. Button nose, Roman nose, how about snub nose? Looks nice. Mouth, how about a, how about a, a, a tongue, tongue out mouth? Oh yeah, it is a tongue out. Slim mouth, let's do that. Uh, eyebrows, wizard brows, straight brows. Let's make him. Let's make him this color. Facial hair. I feel like straight, straight up, straight up, full, full, full beard facial hair. Now let's let's keep it. Let's keep it. Let's keep it simple. Simple and clean with the blue. <laughs> Glasses. Oh, Vernon glasses. These are Vernon's glasses. Uh, no glasses, I guess. Actually, let's give him the these ones and then make the frame. Yes, gray like that. Yep. Piercings. Oh, chillin' looks weird. <laughs> right on my mustache. There you go. Multiple piercings. Yeah, let's do that. Clothing. Uh, egg nips. Oh heck yeah, the egg nips, bruh. All right, looking good, daddy. Okay, this is uh, this is not Erica. It's uh, not Erica. It's and and uh, and Enrique. 
Enrique, uh, <coughs> uh, Enrique Morocco. <laughs> Enrique, mm, Enrique uh, Gr Grubbus. Enrique Grubbus. <laughs> that, that sounds good to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, just gonna check everything, make sure it's, everything's okay. Yeah. Alright. Alright, we are into this. We are into this. Here we go. Enrique Grubbus is a go. Hey, that <laughs> Yay! We did it. Du -du 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 -du. You fall asleep packing? Okay. We, we, we did all this already. Uh, your father and I... Uh, tried to steal pooped her pants. Fired a flaming tennis ball. That was you, Dad. All right, I was a wild child. <laughs> I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda. I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Yeah, I remember you explained that to the police. It didn't believe me either. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> okay, blah blah blah. Da, da. Day you were adopted. Okay. Blah, 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 da, 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 da. Uh, washer and dryer hookups. Honey, you have, have you ever had dirty clothes? For most of my life, yes. Well, worry about that no longer. As our new place features mach machinations that will not only clean your clothes, but dry them directly thereafter. Upper class luxury, I fear. <laughs> okay, we've seen all this before. We get the choices we haven't done before. It, it sounds like, it sounds like we're doing a ukulele. <laughs> I need some coffee. Let's go get some coffee, bro. And we're gonna go see Matt. We're gonna go see Matt. We're gonna go see Matt. This game's safe for you. I already read that on stream. But as as I said before, is this safe to stream? Yeah, most likely. It's such convenient walking distance. Blah blah blah. Enrique. Hey, it's Matt. I'll have a... I'll just open up the thing here. I'll have a... Godspeed you, Black Coffee. That, that was a little bit. I think I don't think, I don't think it matters this, this far, this... at the beginning here. Uh, right side banana bread. That worked before. Let's get back. I need a nap. I need a nap. Just had coffee, blah blah blah. Yeah, I think this gets to us, gets to everything quicker. Bro, bro Craig! <laughs> oh, bro, uh, nice. sorry, but you can't stay in chat, but. Okay, gotta go see ya. <laughs> okay. Then I flopped down on the couch. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. <laughs> Didn't get into the school. Oh man. Going clubbing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> and then Joseph not and Joseph comes in and it's like, whoa, what are you doing this hour, bro? Excellent. Hello. Really nice. talk to us. Oh, oh, hello, 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 bye. <laughs> it's great hearing everybody talk. Yeah. Whoa, okay. Whoa, okay. Got it. Wake up to the text from not no number. Uh go back. Oh no. Oh shoot. Uh, load. Load, load this. What's the muscle back out? Uh, go back to sleep. Sorry, Craig. I gotta get with Matt this time. Okay, blah blah blah. That's uh, school. Mm -hmm. teacher um, meeting. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, hello, Uh, just moved. Okay. Oh, the hearts are still flying everywhere! Uh,. Let's make something at home. Got it. Get back at home. Some bacon. Check out bacon. Uh, the fetistrade. Check out bacon. There we go. That's that's some good. Uh, Fantastical. Okay. Oh. Hmm. oh, whoa. Okay. Okay, we got it. Got it. Got it. Good. Get it. Got it. Good. Everybody seems good. Everybody is very good. Very nice. Got three people watching. Holy crap. On Twitch. Hey, guys. How you doing? 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Z, Z, Z. Morning, sleepyhead. Farm my minutes. Uh, excited to beef up my grilling skills. If there's food, I'm excited. I'm all over the terrible store bought sugar cookies every everybody brings to parties. Yeah, those are bad. Which means there are more for me. Don't you want to meet some people in the neighborhood? Amanda, blah, blah, blah. Hey, Joseph. What's up? Hey, Mary. See you later. <laughs> Ryan! Small houses are safer. Hi. Right, okay. Tries to brag. Hey, Damien. Hey, Robert. Whoa, everybody's here. Now I'm going to totally talk to you. Talk to Matt again. Hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Sitting on Matt and Hugo. Um, da, da, da. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Hmm. Da, 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 da. All right, Matt. Hey, there's a daughter. Nice flower crown. You look pretty cute in that. Oh. All right, talk to. All right, it's time for burgers. Oh. Don't want to talk to everybody right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I mean, I got a burger in me. <laughs> okay. Um, buh -buh. Amanda and I arrive home with our veggie plate. Okay, we gotta get to the good stuff. We gotta get to dad book. See how long I can sleep for. Something, something, something. She's... I right to be concerned. I have the right to be concerned, young lady. You were out. You didn't text. I texted you. Didn't text me back. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I trust you to make good choices. Uh, yeah, this is uh, cool. All right, pops. All right, it's time for dad book. On Friday night, you are most likely to. Mmm. -hmm. Netflix and grill. <laughs> if you have the one thing, take a desert island. My trusty grill. What are your turn ons? Top tier grill, my chef. What did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, President of Space. We got a printed call from the President of Space saying, You're the only hope to save billions of lives instead of making big potatoes and melting pasta at the chives. Could be there in an hour if we really, really tried, so they didn't, but we didn't, so they ate friends. Sorry if you died. His favorite movie genre Laser Disc. Ideal date. Uh, eating, uh, napping together. What do you never leave home without? A sick vape. I spent a lot of time thinking about. Conspiracy theories. Or file complete. See, that wasn't so bad. That was actually kind of fun. Bye, Amanda. Welcome. You've, got dads. You've got dads. Wow. How exciting. <laughs> mm hmm. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's go, Matt. What is he like? Perfect. On Friday night, you're most likely to perfect, perfect my cold brew setup. One drip at a time, baby. He's an avid music enthusiast, passionate coffee drinker. You find me most days selling bean juice over the coffee spoon. Uh, if you have one thing to take with you, it's fine tunes to pass the day away. Turn on's multi instrumentalism. What do you want to be in your, when you want to when you grew up? A barista, weirdly enough. Hmm, that's a that's not an, that's that's kind of an odd thing to be, but that's fine. What's your favorite movie genre? This stuff with subtitles. What's your ideal date? Go to animal shelter. What do you leave, never leave home without? My headphones. That's true. Spend a lot of time thinking about where did writing commas into Salt House come from and where did it go? Did we just all agree that's a bad idea? <laughs> that's true. All right. Message Matt. Matt is my dad Sona. Hold well, no, on. I am go uh, uh, Enrique is my dad Sona right now, but he's my dream daddy. I navigate to Matt's dad book page and type out a message. <clears throat> hey, man. Great getting to see you at the barbecue. We should definitely hang soon. You free later? A minute or two later, I hear a ding and see Matt's response. Hey, dude, I've been so down. I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show t tonight at the Sound Garden. Want to come? I think for a moment. What's the Sound Garden? It's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listen to back when it, ha it was cool to have soul patches. Oh man, I haven't been to a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? Well, I'm thinking. Another message pops on the screen. Pup is playing tonight. Cool little indie pop, pop, punk. Blech, rock band out of Canada. Should be a fun one. I didn't know you were allowed to string that many words together to describe a band. Whatever. Let's get out of my, our comfort zone. Yeah. Let's get it. I log off of that one thing for a second. Wait, when, when was the last time I went to a concert? I mentally backtracked decades through memories of denim jack jean jackets and moral panic over teenagers during uh, turning to the occult. Oh god, I, I had a mullet back then. Oh god, I thought it was so cool. Oh god, another people... 
thought I was it thought it was cool. I finally remember the strange 80s prog rock I used to listen to and mentally envision all of the airbrushed fans in the parking lot. Man, how did anyone survive in the 80s? I don't I don't know. I was I wasn't there. I wasn't there for the 80s. <laughs> Okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a long time. So what do you even do at concerts now? I spend most of the day pacing around the room and thinking about my relationship with coolness. I mean, I always thought I was cool, at least relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, what are you doing? I look over and see a man at the door just getting home from school. Her eyes are a little puffy. I was like, she's, she's been crying. Hey, what's wrong, Panda? I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh... Are you sure it's all you were said about? Uh -huh. Hello? Uh -huh. A blast tonight. All right, I show up at the coffee spoon and ate, and I hope what I hope is a concert for attire. I see Matt out front locking the door to his shop. Hey. hey, made it. Ready for tonight? Um, let's see what this says. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. I definitely know what I'm talking about. You better believe it, fellow live music lover. Grab those ticks and let's mosh that new. What? New? Short for venue? You know, where you go to see dope certs? Hmm. Are you just making this stuff up right now? Nah, man, I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since Pet Rocks were cool. I have no idea what I'm in for. Hey. Did your daughter make make you take her to one of those boy band concerts where everybody holds signs and scream cries? Yeah. Hey. I got two lined up next month. I still gotta get the glitter on my car from the last one. Uh, where am I? Where am I going? Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Where am I coming from? Stay strong. Hey. But dude, I get to take you to our to your first concert in a long time? This is gonna be awesome. Just hang with me, Enrique, and you'll be good. This scene is super supportive. It'll be a blast. Quick question. Hey. Shoot. What is scene? <laughs> Matt lets out a tiny laugh. Hey. Sorry, sorry. It's just weird because scene can describe a music scene as, a, as it pertains to a community of people who like the same genre, but also but can also describe a genre of music no one wants to admit they were into. Matt looks off into, the, into middle distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking, never again. That's confusing. You'll get it. The important thing tonight is that you enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head to the show. If you say so. After waiting a short line to get in, we find ourselves in a small venue with a stage in one end and a bar in the other. Most people here are closer to Amanda's age than mine. I suddenly feel very out of place. My my waning youth is showing. I am suddenly aware of my mortality. When when were the good years of life? Will Amanda still love me as we both grow older? Wait, is sea punk actually a genre? Matt, you made it! What? A younger kid runs up and high fives Matt. Hmm. The kid runs off and Matt turns to me, sh shuddering. I get nervous when people surprise high five me. Me too. Hey. I like a small animal. I'm like a small animal. Loud noises and large groups of people frighten me. Do you also enjoy curling up in the patch of sunlight to take a nap? Hey. That's my favorite thing to do. A couple of other people notice that Matt's in the crowd and yell, hey, as well. Hey. Matt waves and hugs a couple people. <laughs> he seems really in his element here. Hey. Matt turns his attention back to me. Hmm. I'm so afraid of all these people. Oh. Let's go grab a beer. Matt and I line up at the bar in the back where a couple of older concert goers hang out. Oh, excuse me. A couple more people notice Matt and tip, the, tip their drinks at him. Hey. Seems like you're a popular guy out here. Ah, oh. uh, yeah, I go to a lot of shows. It's a really cool spot. Hey. But it's times like these where I realize I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff to say. <laughs> me too, man. Me too. Like, I can only be entertaining for about, like, less than that. Like, five, like, two minutes. <laughs> oh. Now they become keenly aware of where my hands are. Hmm. And that there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. God dang, where do I put? God dang, where do I put my tongue? Hey. See? Well, I've known you for more than five minutes, and I still think you're charming and funny. Just you wait. We grab our drinks. This scene seems really friendly. I don't know why people wouldn't want to admit that they listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out the merch. Oh hey, Matt and I walk over to a small small booth in the corner of the room where a crusty looking teenager guards his selection of shirts and records. He singles me out from across the room and hops up on his chair. Sip on up, get your merch here. I got shirts, t-shirts, and I got tank tops. I got all the gifts and encounterments a discerning concert goer of considerable taste might want. You! I just I just to myself, my face flushing red. Yes, you, you look like a fellow who knows their music. How's about a fine 12-inch long playing vinyl record made out of distributed... Made and distributed by Pup, Canada's premier punk rock outfit. Uh, uh, tally, it says here, tally ho good sir. All right, tally ho good sir. Well, see here, fine shop keep, your enthusiastic salesmanship has aroused my interest and suspicion in equal parts. How can I, a consumer of the finer goods in life, trust your wares to be, to be true of spirit? A fine question from a discerning patron. <laughs> okay, Pablo, you can give it a rest. The teen hops off his chair and takes a seat. Your friend looks lost, so I figured I'd give him the old razzle-dazzle. How the hell are you, Matt? Hey. Day by day, my man. 
They do that thing where they high five but also turn into a hug. Hey. Your mom doing better? She's still single. If you wanna if you wanna be my dad, I could make that c connect. <laughs> it had to deal with you every single day. Fair enough. Who's your bud? Hey. That's Enrique. Thought I'd bring out a concert pal. Pablo leans closer to Matt. <laughs> Is Enrique cool? Mm. Matt eyes me. I have I am back. Mm. He cracks a smile. Hey. Yeah. Pablo brings me in for a bro hug. My dude! I'm not sure what to say, but give the courtesy two pats of the back as it, as is customary in our in society for people to, who don't know you super well, but still want to be friendly to. Oh. Pablo's a total card. Kid plays the hell out of a bass. Yeah, man, when are we starting our witch house band? Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 seems, that, seems, that seems nice. That seems very nice. You know I'm out of the game. It's a shame, you know? Something, something vacant veil vale would have slayed. <laughs> How, how do you say that? How do you say... How would you say that? I'll slay... It'll slay once you start actually making music instead of printing out a bunch of band shirts. We've got the sickest logo! While Matt and Pablo talk, I check out the merch. These shirts are really nice. Hey. Looks like the opener's coming on. Let's get a spot up close. Oh. Matt and I walk over to the stage where a crowd begins to form. The band walks on stage and pick up a variety of strange instruments. Is that a harpsichord? The lead singer addresses the crowd. He has a he has a mandolin slung behind his back. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're Jonathan Jones and the Speak Easy Choir. My name is Daniel. Let's start the show. Mm. Oh no, these guys. What? Tell time to respond. The band plays the most. One, two, This is interesting. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening right now? Oh no. Oh no. What is this? Matt doesn't say anything. He just hands me earplugs. Thanks. I put the earplugs in and whatever the heck is assaulting my ears just got a lot quieter. For a band this bad, they do seem to be having fun. I guess that's what really matters. Jeez, did that Celis just break his bow in half? I don't get this. The set seems to go on forever. There's no breaks in the songs, and I think one of the band members jostles specifically just to burn poetry on stage. I turn to Matt and try to start a conversation. So you got a lot of concerts out here, huh? Hmm. What? Should I ask again? Probably ask again. Yeah, ask again. Ask again. So you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? <laughs> ask again. So you... Hey. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Matt turns his... Turns back his attention to the show. He can't hear me, so I just stop and try to enjoy the music. Okay, no, this is impossible. How long have they been playing the same song? 10 minutes? 20? A year? Eventually, eventually, set ends, but only after the drummer sprains his ankle during his saxophone solo. They promised it was part of the act, so he was carried off stage, as he was carried off stage, crying. Hmm. Matt and I both pull our, pull our earplugs out. Hey. Man, that was something. I promise Pup is much better. I just... I have a lot of questions that I know I'll never get the answers to. Hey. Oh yeah, he strains his ankle at every show. They were being real about that. Hmm. Let's grab another beer. Okay, you just sprain your ankle on stage just for an act? Matt and I work our way to, out of the crowd back to the bar. More and more people file in the concert space as it gets close to the main act. It's getting kind of crowded in here. We grab our beers I try to follow Matt back to our spot, but there's so many people that I'm having a hard time keeping up. As I work my way through the thrones of excited concert goers, I realize I've lost Matt entirely. I stop to, and look around, noticing seeing nothing but a sea of hip 20-somethings. I'm lost. How am I ever going to find Matt here? Where's the exit? Are there even exits? What if I'm trapped in this building forever? Am I going to see my daughter ever again? What if that terrible band gets back on stage? What if... Suddenly, a hand reaches out to grab me. It's Matt. Uh -huh. Almost lost you, buddy. Whew, I really got nervous for a second there. Uh -huh. You and me both, dude. He takes my hand and leads me back towards the stage. I can feel myself blushing a little. We finally settle back in our spot and wait for the band to start. Busy place, huh? Hey. Yeah, Pup really brings out a crowd. So you go to concerts a lot? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one thing to listen to music and connect with it, but when you're in a room filled with people connecting with the music just the same way that you are, that's magic. I suddenly have the urge to pee. Chris's tiny dad bladder. I never heard of it that way. That's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. Hey. Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. 
I squeezed my way out of the crowd toward the restroom. I really should have gone before I left the house, but Amanda was watching beauty videos in the bathroom. She had an eyeliner wig going halfway across her face, which was actually a pretty good look. I'm so proud of her. I make it to the restroom finally, but it's one of those single person restrooms with a line for me outside of it. As soon as I finish my business, the band starts. Crap. The people that were initially milling around the venue all crowd up against the stage's pub plays their first song. How are we ever going to find Matt now? Uh oh. Uh oh. What are we doing? What are we doing? Everyone's rushing. To oh, what the? What is this? Everyone's rushing to the main stage to play pup to watch pup play. I'm sure Matt will be up there too. I gotta get there without being trampled by all these valued youths. Avoid the youths. Uh, how do I do that? Go. Um. Oh, ow. Give me this. Give me this. Okay. I guess I'm going up here now. Oh, ow. Ow. This Stop it. Oh wow. We even got permission to whitelist the song for YouTube and Twitch. Ow. But their systems are seriously broken. Ah, what a bitch. <laughs> oh wow, that's interesting. So we Ow. added the, the song that you're listening to right now. <laughs> oh, this is a streamer safe mode. Don't you think it's better than risking content ID? Nope. To you streamers and let's players, I have one decree. What's that? Please check out the band called Pop and their song DVP. Okay, I will. DVP. Stop it. That's right, the band called Pop and their song called DVP. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. I really want to hear that. Yes, take it from me. Is this Barry singing? It's like footage of NES and SNES games with the lyrics added into them. It's really cool, but it's kind of hard to explain right now. But you'll get it, I promise. You okay. Go check it out. <laughs> okay. So we added the song that you're listening to right now. Uh huh. Don't you think it's better <laughs> than risking content ID? To you streamers and let's players, I have one decree. Please check out the band called Pup and their song D. He's about the crowd, yes! DVP. But yes! Really pop, 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 punk. Demands a serious convo. But is this the time or place to talk about it? Oh no. This is a dating sim about getting with dads, no less. <laughs> uh huh. Oh god, how did we get here? What are we doing? What a mess. I just gotta let the song play out. What a mess. So we added the song that you're listening to right now. I'm finally able to work my way through the crowd to where Matt originally was, but he's nowhere to be found. Shoot, well, I guess I should keep looking. Bums into someone from behind. I find myself in the middle of a bunch of views right around the circle to the music. I'm in the pit. How do we get out of the pit? I will. You guys, you guys check out Pup and their song DVP. <laughs> Is it loop? <laughs> this is Barry. <laughs> so we added the yeah, how do we get out of the pit? Out of nowhere, he shoulders himself into me and keeps moving in a circle. Hey, I guess I'm moving in a circle now. I frantically search for a way out, but all I see is an ocean of views rhythm rhythmically slamming into each other. Another youth slams into me, I lose my balance. I'm about to topple over. This is it. This is how I die. Trampled under the boots of culture, counter culture. DP. Someone grabs my hand. Someone familiar. I look up and see Matt. He pulls me back up on my feet. DP. How long is this song? Okay, I think that's it. He pulls me back onto my feet. You're wild, dude. Matt throws his arms around me and we jump back in the circle, bashing it to youth left and right as Pup plays a killer solo. I didn't know you messed with the pit. Hey. Me neither. 
I can't believe. Th okay, by the way, guys, that was. I think that was sung by Barry, but the actual song was gonna get copyrighted if you play it on the live stream or if you do it, do a let's play on it. So if you guys want to listen to the song that was intended to play there, go listen to PVP P DVP DVP by Pup. I hear it's really good. The song ends. The pit finally dissipates. Everybody cheers on Pup. Maybe I only got enough energy, enough pit energy for one song. <laughs> All right, man, let's retreat. We'll show these kids how it's done another day. Yeah, we will, bro. Yeah, we will. Oh. We work our way back to a more comfortable spot in the crowd and enjoy the rest of the show from a safe distance. Pup puts an amazing set and basically has to beg themselves off stage after another encore. With the concert over, the crowd starts making their way to the exit. Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'll meet you outside. Gotta say bye to a couple people. All right. He's pretty popular. Oof. I hang outside of the venue until Matt finally shows up. Hey, man, thanks for waiting. I got you a present. Matt hands me a t-shirt I was looking at earlier. Whoa, thanks, man. Hey. Saw your eyeballing it back at the merch booth. Hey. And I mean, anyone who tears it up that hard in the first time back to a concert deserves a reward. Yeast finally accept me. What, is, what does it say here? Uh, the Yeast will finally accept me. Finally, I'll be able to infiltrate their ranks and defeat them, not only on the field of battle, but as we've done today, but on the grander scale. Hey. Uh, we'll see We'll see you in the world pit, Yeast. Hey, Matt. Hey. hey, it's Pup. Oh, hey. Oh, it's, these are the actual guys. This is a real band. Hey, dude, I didn't realize you were here. Hey. I'm so glad I can make it. You guys put on a great show. Thanks. Hey. Well, see you around. Okay, bye. <laughs> wait, wait, you know Pup? Hey. Oh, yeah. Met him a couple of times when they first started touring. Good kids. Whoa. Hey. Come on, let's grab some dinner food. I suddenly realized just how hungry I am, man. Man, mosh pits really take, really take a lot out of you. I imagine that they do. I imagine they do. Matt and I walk into the tidy little diner with a cute neon sign. We tear into some bacon and eggs in a corner booth. Hey. So there I am in the pit trying to explain the face tattoo guy that I didn't mean to elbow him in the face tattoo, but he's already seeing red. Not from the tattoo, which coincidentally was red. He's lumbering towards me and there's nowhere to go. Hey. It's the end for me, right? Then out of nowhere I get this idea. I just lean back and spread my arms. And just like that, I'm crowd surfing away from him in slow motion. You should see the look on his hey. face. But I'll have a beer afterwards and we were cool. We still follow each other on social media. He has beautiful kids. Glad you guys worked it out. Hey, yeah. yeah, man. Just goes to show you that Punk's not dead. It just drives a minivan and has to hire a babysitter. So how'd you get to see all these amazing concerts? Hey. Well, I used to tour our band. We were small, but it got us to travel all around the States. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I mean, we were poor and we had to scrape a lot together just to survive. But I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. Me neither, man. Me neither. Hey, if you guys don't mind, real quick, I'm just going to put up some stuff on... And some Discord channels. Basically saying that I'm live. It was... Which one? This one? Hey, hey, hey. I'm live right now. Playing Dream Daddy. And then we'll copy this link from before. And paste it right here. Copy this first, and then enter. There we go. And then here. Sorry guys, let's gonna look through real quick. La 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 la. Here we go. Okay, back, back here, back again. Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? To our love friend. Okay, back to it. Yeah, I mean, we were poor and we had to scrape a experience for anything. But yeah, that's how I knew a bunch of those people at the show. Music like this builds an amazing community, especially in a town like this. Just a lot of positive energy and good vibes. I got that feeling. Plenty of friendly people, especially that Pablo kid. Oh man, everybody loves Pablo. His mom's been racing him on his own, and you could tell he's been tough on them. It's been tough on both of them. I know he looks up to me, so I try to help him out whenever I can. It's really nice of you. Hey. Thanks. Us single parents just really have to look out for each other. 
That was Carmencita. She says she wants to learn the drums. Oh boy. Hey. It'll be loud. I need to take a lot of aspirin, but I'll manage. Can't really blame her. I'm suddenly very grateful that all my daughter's hobbies are super quiet. Photography, collaging, whatever is that whatever it is she's doing on the internet. Thanks, Amanda. Hmm. I'm trying to be supportive of Carmencita's rebellious phase, but I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? I think it would be a good daddy slash daughter activity to find something to rebel against together. Oh. Like what? Um, I don't know, maybe um, fashion. Oh, fashion. You can always fly in the face of fashion industry. That's a good anti-establishment option. Matt gestures to my outfit. I think you've got that one covered, dude. <laughs> I'm hurt. I thought I was among friends. He and I laugh. We keep digging into our big plates of greasy diner food. The breakfast that I ordered for dinner is absolutely hitting the spot. Man. Being a single dad is rough sometimes. It's a lonely feeling. I understand that all too well. I mean, at least we all have the rest of the dads to talk to. Uh -huh. Yeah, I just... I don't know. Hmm. I get really nervous sometimes talking to people. Matt gets nervous talking to people, but he's so cool. Me too. I've never really considered myself an extrovert and never really considered myself an introvert. I'm just an uncomfortable in every situation always. Hey. Ah, you're fine. You're actually really easy to talk to. You know that? I smile. Matt and I spend the rest of the night trading daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. We finish up our late night dinners and head out. We walk back to the cul-de-sac, back to our respective houses. Oh. Tonight was a blast, man. Loved it, although I'm probably going to feel it on my knees in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. I, uh, I don't usually like going to these other things alone. It was really cool to have you there with me. I'm glad. Hey. All right, I'm calling it quits for the night. Stay cool, man. You called me cool. Matt called me cool. Ooh. <laughs> I walked in the home with the heart in my throat, then it pops out of her head. Mm. Hey, Pops, how's the show? Matt thinks I'm cool. Mm. You don't say. Manda Panda, Matt thinks I'm cool. <laughs> blind leading the blind, huh? Wow, I just got dunked on by my own child. Unbelievable. Hey, Amanda, remind me which one of us just tore it up in the pit at the punk show, and one of us spent four hours probably watching Tiny House Hunting Almish Triplets Extreme Edition. First of all, how dare you? That show is a classic. Oh, God. Second of all, you moshed in the pit? Who even are you? I am your extremely cool dad. All right, I'm hitting the hay, Pops. I'll see you in the pit. Matt, kiddo. All right, we did it. We've done it. Da, 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 da. Yay. Oh, grunge is out, all the way at the top. Number one dad? Heck yeah. Look at all those dad points. Bam. Never underestimate the power of a dream, daddy. Hmm. Never. I, I never underestimate it. It's, uh, it's, all, it's, all, it's all I want to be. It's all I, it's all I train to be. So that's what I want. It's what I, it's what I want to be. It's, it's, it's what I want. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Beep, beep, beep. I like the background music. It just suits everything really nice. Beep, 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 boop, beep, beep, beep. While I'm doing my afternoon afternoon word jumbles, I hear the mail truck pull through the cult sack. That's about person. Da da da. Hmm. The envelope. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yes. All right. Uh, the, the scene. Mm -hmm. Love you too, Pops. Nice. Welcome. You got that. All right, Matt. It's time to get back in the sack. Here we go. First is the worst, second is the best, third is the one with the hairiest chest. That's a bad tip. Instead of messaging the guy, why don't I just walk over and grab some coffee? I'm feeling really sluggish today, anyway. Amanda. Amanda sticks her head out of the room. Father, wanna go to the coffee spoon? Oh, you still get. So you get called cool once, and now you're the cool dad who hangs out at the coffee shops and listens to Neil Jazz and stuff. Amanda, are you gonna bring your laptop and your leather-bound journal so you can work on your poetry and anthology? Look, honey, do you want me to buy you coffee or not? <laughs> Let me grab my laptop and my leather-bound journal. <laughs> Amanda and I make a short walk over. Oh, hey, it's uh, Jason. Uh, what is it? The place is quiet today. I've Oh, just a few people hanging out and reading books in the cozy little nooks. I walk up to the counter and see a familiar Pierce face. It was Pablo. Hey, you're the dude I yelled at, the, at a bunch the other night. Aww. Meta cast a sideways glance at me. You tried to sell me shirts. And who might you be, miss? Aww. This is my daughter, Amanda. The person I am father to and I'm very protective of. In order to make your acquaintance. My name is Pablo. Did I mention that I make witch, witch house music? <sighs> I wouldn't call it witch house music, but okay. <sighs> a piercing blow to my ego, though not one that will dissuade my need to impress you. My, my innate dad senses tingle. I am overwhelmed with a fr uh, fatherly protective energy. I must do something to protect my child. What do I do? Uh, Father John... What do I do? Uh, Mine's from Taken. Listen here, Pablo. I have a very specific set of skills to uh, uh, 
I can type pretty fast for people my age. If you do so much as harm with the hair on my daughter's head, I'll be coming for you at a comfortable 80 words per minute after I practice a little. Dad. Enrique. Matt comes out from washing dishes in the back room to meet a man and I. He and I high five as fellow cool people do. I see him at my newest employee. At your service, although I'm only here until some vacant veil vale starts their world tour. When's that? Well, we have to put in a record, put out a record first. All right, Pablo. Now, what do we do with customers again? Right. Yes. I'll cruise his throat. <coughs> Hello, good folk of Maple Bay. Can I interest you in a tasty caffeinated beverage? A smashing pumpkin spice latte, please. It's the very appropriate time for it too, because it's fall. A classic. And you, Father John Misto. A Father John Misto, please. Aww. That might be the worst one I've ever heard. <laughs> hey, it's pure comedy. Yeah, puns are the highest form of comedy. Nice. That, that was the right one. Yep. Oh, I was making a joke off Father John Misty, and it has an album called Pure Comedy. And the drink is named after Father John Misty, so I was... Yeah, never mind. Coming right up. Pablo gets to work making our drinks while Matt observes him. Yeah, sounds great. He'll get a hang of it. For as goofy as a dude he is. Kid works hard. Hey, man, that concert was a lot of fun. We should hang out again. Hey. Hell yeah. Hey. I'm actually going to be done training Pablo in a couple of hours, so I'm just going to go record shopping. Want to come along? Absolutely. Hey. Hello brings us our drinks and Amanda buries herself in her laptop. I spent my time sipping my drink and cracking jokes with Matt. Last time we hung out, he told me he was he had trouble hanging with other people. But for some reason, he and I can talk like and joke like old buds. It's weird. I, re I feel really comfortable around him. I wonder why. Once Matt feels comfortable leaving Paolo on his own, I say goodbye to Amanda and we start walking to the record store. Hey. Have you ever been here before? No. I mean, we have a record player sitting on the living room, but all I have are two copies of Frampton Comes Alive. Hey. Oh, this should be fun then. We're gonna find you some good stuff. The walls of the store are packed with posters, artwork, stickers, and records. A few people mirror around flipping through milk crates of albums. Some indie band is playing through the speakers. It's a nice vibe. So, why do people still buy records? Isn't it kind of outdated at this point? Hey. There's a lot of people who will try to tell you that vinyl records sound warmer or more true to the artist's intent, but I think, I, I really, but really I think it's just nice to collect records. Hey. It's cool that in this day and age we are just about every song I've ever created available instantaneously on our phones, but there's something about holding an album and getting to see the artwork in your hands that I'll always love. Hey. That's why I try to get as many records as I love in physical form as possible. Remember when we were kids and we had to wait around by the radio with a cassette tape so we could record our favorite songs? Yeah, it, made each, <clears throat> it made each listen really special. The mixtapes were even cooler because of how much work they took. Now, now you just make playlists. I think the last time someone gave me a real mixtape was in high school. Okay. I look around at the multi-level record store and spot some genres. Future Wave, Jungle, and that anar Anarchopop? Nuns with exploitation? I have no idea where to even start. Man, it's a little overwhelming. Hey. Here, let me help you find something you might like. If you were a milkshake, what flavor would you be? Oh, uh, um, I'd be. Let's go good. A uh, good cookies and cream. If you could only buy one type of candle scent for the rest of your life, what would it be? Daffodil Mountain Spring. Cherry Blossom? Oh. What's your favorite ambient sound? Rain, Bowling Alley, Star Trek, and Bridge Ambience. How's the Bone Chorus? I like Rain in Star Trek. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say Star Trek. What's your dream vacation spot? Backyard. My backyard. <laughs> What's your deepest, darkest fear? I worry that people are nice to me because they want something from me. I fear that they don't deserve happiness and I won't get, it, won't ever get it. What if nobody exists but me and I fabricated this universe? Saying you too when the weirdo tells you to enjoy your food. <laughs> uh, uh, I fear that. I fear that the most. <laughs> Matt thinks for a moment. Hmm. Wait. Oh, I know this thing. Hey. Matt runs to the other end of the store and returns holding a record behind his back. He shows it to me. This is Evil Friends by Portugal, the man. Danger Mouse comes, came on this album to produce it, and I think it it was the uh, perfect blend of what PTM does and what Danger Mouse does. Super fun, super catchy. You'll love it. Whoa, dude, thanks for the thanks for the recommendation. Hey. You're gonna have a great time with it. Promise. Then I bring our records to the cash register. A young girl with a septum ring and buzz cut stands behind the counter with one earbud in. Usual stuff today, Matt. Oh. Just some light pickups. Matt places three albums on the record. Swear, swear I'm good at this by S Diet Sig. Forever by Mystery Skulls. Oh, Mystery Skulls. This time I might just disappear. And Greatest Hits by Remo Drive. Tight. Hey. The cashier rings Matt up and hands back his albums in the bag. She stares at me suspiciously. Who's the nerd? Hey. That nerd is my buddy Enrique. Enrique, this is the beacon of human charm is Molly. I got kicked out of art school for destroying my paintings at the end of every critique. Lovely to meet you. Anyway, Matt, is the open mic still on tonight? Hey. You know it. Are the third waves going to do special acoustic performance? I might see if I could get a few of the girls together. There's an open mic going on tonight? Hey. 
Yeah, dude, we do it every month at the Coffee Spoon. Some amazing talent. Always comes through. Got a flyer for it right here. You and Amanda should come by that night. Matt blushes. I mean, if you're not doing anything. Will Vacant Veil vale be playing? If only. I finished paying for my record and we head out the store. Man, what a trip down memory lane. I haven't been in a record shop like that ever since Vans had, sh had shag carpeting. Now that you mention it, isn't it strange to think that all those little weird... Uh, to think of all those weird little musical memories. Memories. The memories. Of the... Oh. Uh, Sans. Sans suit is now following. Thanks for. Thanks. Thanks for that, man. And thank you for the K message. <laughs> thanks, man. Okay. Mm hmm. Da, da, da. Da, da. Ba, ba, ba. How do you how do you, how do you mean? How do you mean, fam? Well, I think music is a very is a very time. I think music is a very time and place sort of thing. A song is important to me not only in that I think it sounds good, but where where I was and what I was doing when I listened to it. There's music that reminds me of exes, of struggling through school, of being so poor that I didn't know where my next meal was coming from, all that stuff. And listening to those songs reminds me of those moments of my life. Yeah, now that I think of it, even the pop concert Amanda made me take her to is special to me. I mean, I'm not really a fan of the band, but hearing their song on the radio reminds me of how young and excited Amanda was. Yeah, you know, that, that, that seems pretty reasonable. <laughs> and then, that even reminds me of a younger me, going to see my, cell, my favorite bands in concert with all my friends. <clears throat> I'd always go to my friend Cynthia Chapman's house beforehand and smoke pot in her basement like we were so slick. Her parents definitely knew what we were doing. Wait, when was the last time you smoked pot? Max stops and thinks for a moment. It's been decades. Dude, me too. Where do you even get pot now? It's even, Is that what the kids call it these days? I don't know. But I bet I could find out. Do you want to get high and listen to our new records? Say no to drugs. In real life, kids, say no to drugs. But in this case, yeah, why not? Hmm. <laughs> Matt pulls out his phone and starts texting. Hey. After a few minutes, he looks up and smiles at me. Oh. Ah, Molly's got a hookup. Says to me in the alley near the coffee shop. Hey. Okay, if it turns out it turns out the feds, you make a break for it and I'll take the heat. Just promise me that you'll raise Amanda like she was your own. Hmm. You realize that weed has been legalized at this stage, right? I definitely knew that. <laughs> but we live in dangerous times. Who knows what lurks in this sea underbelly of Maple Bay? We could find ourselves on the wrong end of a deal just gone bad. Just look out for Amanda. I swear. What? Oh, here's our guy. Coming around the corner of one of those nasty grease dumpsters shrouded in darkness is a lean figure dressed in all black. Oh, what the heck was that? What is that? Dushi is now following on Twitch. Welcome, 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 man. Welcome. Glad you're glad you could join us. Thank you, join us. Welcome to welcome to the community. Welcome, welcome. That was on Twitch, right? <laughs> that was on. Twi Hold on, I'm not. I'm not crazy, right? This was on. This was on Twitch. Yep, this is on Twitch. Okay, welcome, welcome, Dushi. Welcome, welcome. Glad, glad that you're here. Okay, let's get back to it. Coming around the, uh, all black. Um, excuse me, Mr. Drugman. Hmm. Surprise, the per- Oh, it's, uh, it's Damien. It's, oh, Lucian. It's Lucian, Damien's son. Who sent you? What? We're cool, man, we're cool. Says who? For all I know, you could be with the feds. Actually, weed is legal. Proves you're cool. What? I need to know that you're down, alright, Bolt. Um, eh, Site mutually assured destruction. Look, man, we're trying to buy drugs from you, and we know you sell drugs. You have dirt on us, we have dirt on you. We're in this together now. Look, it's fine. I get it. Buzzcut Molly said you were coming. Right, now that formalities are out of the way, let's make a deal. <sighs> Alright, how much do you want? One. One what? Hey, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh. He means weed, Lucian. Yeah, but how much? Mm. Hey. One? Oh my god, look, here, take this and give me $10. Just don't tell my dad. Let's all forget this ever happened. Oh. Don't tell your dad if you don't. Lucian hands me a baggie of something and disappears down the alleyway. I open it and take a deep whiff. Smells like genuine drugs. Yes, sir. Hey. That went smoothly. Yeah, we should get off our public property before we smoke this. Hey, yeah. Great idea, let's head back to my place, yeah? Matt and I walk, uh, wow. That's that. <laughs> He's just like, what? I guess? I wish it was. I wish it was Damien. Oh, uh, Donna. <laughs> I said I wish it was Damien. That would have. That would have been hotter, huh? That would, all just two dads together. Oh yeah, give me that baby. Give it to me. 
<laughs> Matt and I walked to our cul-de-sac and stopped at a gas station on the way to buy rolling papers and soda. I feel like I'm 16 again. Mm. Carmen Seats is having a sleepover tonight, so that gives us all the time we need to do drugs. <laughs> awesome, let's do some drugs. <laughs> awesome, dude. Matt pulls one of our one of the records out of his bag and puts it puts it on for us. I'll pop down on a comfy leather couch and look around his place. There are a bunch of band posters on it, and his record collection takes up an entire wall. Whoa, what a collection! I've been collecting my whole life. It was nice to finally get them all in one place after being on the road for so much of my life. I had to ask my parents to hold on to them for me. Matt sits down next to me, and we lay the marijuana drugs out on the coffee table. You can smoke the Mary Jane. Uh, do you want to do the honors? Please, it's your house. Hey. If you say so. Uh -huh. Matt pulls out some rolling paper and sprinkles some of the beatnik tobacco onto onto a piece. He starts rolling it back and forth, and the paper almost breaks immediately, spilling drugs all over the couch. Oh. Never was too good at this. <laughs> Matt tries again and is able to successfully roll a nice-looking weed cigarette. Uh, I think it's what they call a joint. <laughs> he hands me a lighter and the blunt. I think, and I take it. <laughs> well, let's. What do we do here? <laughs> LMAO. <laughs> Dude, like... Have you seen the fan art for Dream Daddy? Holy crap. That, th that stuff's hot. <laughs> uh, rip that golf fairway. Yes. Yes, let's do that. I like the joint and inhale deeply. Hmm. This is... Not what I remember. It's been a while, though. Maybe pot drugs have just gotten more potent since the last time I spoke. I passed the joint to Matt and cough a little bit. Should it sting this much or am I just a baby? What? Matt takes a hit and his eyes go wide. Mm. That's not weed. Oh god. <laughs> Did we develop a taste for math? No, no, it's... Matt takes another hit and winces. Hey. Yeah, this is oregano. I sniffed the airy. Yeah, that would be definitely explain why it smells like a pizza place in here. Hello, punk ripped this off. Hey. Oh well, we can still relax and enjoy the music sober. You know what? You're right. Hey. We said listen... <laughs> why oregano, dude? Is that is that a common thing? Are there any drug dealers out there watching? <laughs> <laughs> we sit and listen through the Diet Sick album that Matt brought, which is catchy as hell. I look around the room again and see photos of Carmen Sita growing up. I spot a young woman with a huge smile in one of the pictures with the two. Who's that? Uh, who is that? Oh, oh that's Rosa. She was Carmen Sita's mother. She died when Carmen Sita was young. I'm sorry to hear that. Amanda had lost Alex at a young age too. I can understand how hard that must have been. I look around again, spotting a frame geek poster hanging on the wall. On it, there's an illustrated illustration of Matt and Rosa surrounded by flowers. The cursive letters, lettering reads, Still listen dancing. Looks like they played the sound garden over a decade ago. Are we doing a band together? Oh, man. Yeah, that was the reason I, I was touring so much when I was younger. We traveled the whole country in this rinky-dink little van. It was hard to start, but once we started gaining notoriety and seeing how much our songs meant to kids, it was just incredible. Wow, it seems like a life that only, some people only dream of. Seems like they had a very, very, li very long life, very fortunate life. Hey. It was, and it, it was, and it was difficult at the time. At the same time, I couldn't have done it without someone by my side. Rosa and I knew that we couldn't do it forever. The long hours on the road, missing your family, sleeping in the van, all that stuff. Hey. So once we became pre pregnant with Carmen Sita, we put down our roots in our favorite town to play in right here. Since she was a kid, Rosa always dra had a dream to own a quiet little coffee shop. She uh, she died before it opened. I'm so sorry. Um, Don't be. I'm not really sure what to say. I couldn't possibly count the number of times I told people the same thing after Alex died. Hey. Matt gets up to flip the record. Next to the turntable, I noticed a dusty piano. Do you play? Ah, um, uh, I'm out of practice. <laughs> I used to jam out on the keys back in the day. Mm. Oh yeah? Our friends at the hottest seven-piece ska band in Eagle Rock Bay High School had to offer. Hey. No way, you had a ska phase? Phase? Ska never dies. Hey. Except for his ska Munist manifesto, who broke up after the senior talent show to pursue solo careers. Oh. Dude, that's so rad. Matt pulls up the piano badge. Hey. Give me some of that two-tone love. Oh man, let's see if I still got this. Hey. I sit down at the piano. Go with the go with the classic, or go with the classic. That's what it says. That's what it says. I start playing chopsticks. <laughs> what a jam! All right, buddy, can you top that? Uh... I uh, I shouldn't. Ah, come on. No, I'm. It's been a long time. Never too late to get back into it, boy. Matt, you just sat through a butchered vision of chopsticks. Chopsticks. A song that children who are learning the piano usually figure out before they're ten. How much worse can it be? Matt starts the piano for a second. Okay. I uh Okay. Matt closes his eyes and runs his fingers over the keys. He breathes in deep and starts playing a melody. If I didn't know that he hadn't played the piano in a long time, I would never have guessed it. Matt plays a soft, sweet tune filled with emotion. I'd never heard this before. Is this one of his original works? This is so cool. 
Matt finishes the song and finally opens his eyes. Hmm. How was that? That was amazing. Hmm. Oh, it's just nothing. Come on, man, that was killer. Are you gonna pull that out for the open mic night? Oh no, I never play at those. Well, why not? You're really good. Hmm. It's just, I just don't do it anymore. I just don't like being up there and have, alone having so many people stare at me. It doesn't feel fun anymore. I can sense that Matt's getting uncomfortable at the thought of it. I won't push him any further. All right, man, but I hope you know how beautiful your music is. Th thanks. Oh. Matt and I sit around listen to more records until it gets late and I decide I need to get to bed. Matt walks me to my door. Hey. Let's never tell anyone about the oregano, okay? <laughs> Deal. Wait, can I tell my doctor? I don't know anything about the health aspects of smoking oregano, and oh. I think it'll be fine. Hey. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. Night, dude. I smile. Night. All right, I walk inside. The house is dark, save for the silver of light coming from beneath Amanda's door. Eh? Knock lightly at the door and enter Amanda's room. She's sitting at her desk with her camera, editing photos. Hey, Amanda. Amanda swivels around her chair to face me and slumps down. Mm. What smells like pizza parlor in here? What? Nothing. So, what's up? Mm? Dad, I'm hungry. Hey. Wait, no. Hi, hungry. Oh. No, I'm dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so. I love it so. I love it so. Yeah, I'm glad you went with the egg shirt. <laughs> Me too. Me too. I'm very glad. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm dead. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm out of classes on the floor. I promised myself that I'd never let it come to this. Sorry, kiddo. You set it up. I spiked it down. You're a monster. Want some spaghetti? Yes, please. Yeah. Amanda and I bolt pasta, boil pasta, and heat up a sauce in a pan. Well, I boil pasta and heat up in a sauce while Amanda watches. Yeah. How's record collecting? It was great. Did you know that Matt used to play in a band? Huh? No way. Was he good? I don't know if the band was good, but you played some piano for me tonight. It was amazing. Yeah. You played piano for you? Dude. Yeah, I brought it up that he should play at the open mic night. That's happening at the coffee shop. But he's got some kind of... But he's got kind of weird about it. He has a flyer for that. We should go. It's not too late to start a father-daughter punk, punk band and play a couple tunes there. Mm. Yeah, let me break out my glockenspiel. I think I <laughs> only know hot cross buns, but let me work off... But we can work off the chord progression. The man and I have a nice dinner before she goes back to her room to do photography stuff. I end up watching True Life. I'm a house hunter. They're staging an intervention for the house hunter who's crying uncontrollably over the color of the walls. They know they can paint the walls of the house they, any color they want, right? Matt's song stopped in my head all night. Oh, uh, he's running through your mind, eh? Yeah, I, it, it, it happens, man. It happens. Oh, man. Don't eat too close to bedtime. All right, day complete. Da -da. Da -da -da. Uh, record collecting was low? I mean, there wasn't much of it. Well, boom. You know, if you want to come inside, that punk is playing at my house tonight. What does that mean? Is that a euphemism? Is that a euphemism? Is, is, that's definitely a euphemism. You know, if you want to, come inside. <laughs> well, it's been a long day. I'm just about ready to pack it in. After a few bites of ice cream from the freezer, I turned off all the lights and walked down in the hall into my room. I wonder if Amanda's still awake. That kid needs some sleep. As I pass her room, I can hear a faint sound. She's crying. Uh, I'll leave her alone. I'll leave you be. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, she storms out. Yes, we've, we've seen this before. Let's try to uh, support you 100%. Best friend one. Let's get this thing. I'm oh, sorry, Amanda. I care about you, but I already heard about this one. Uh, what did MR say? I cannot believe that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. It's not dumb. Blah, blah. Girlfriends don't do that. You just eat the whole cake. Thank you. You're always welcome, Amanda. Oh, you too, Dad. I, that's my favorite clip. <laughs> it's my favorite voice clip, Amanda. Oh, man. Welcome. You, you got, got dads. Nice. Okay. Okay, Matt. Back in the saddle again. One more time. You know what they say about their dates. I'm sure. I'm sure. No, you, don't, you don't have to tell me twice. You don't have to tell me twice. Man, and I have, uh, have spent a lot of time together lately. After we went record shopping the first time, it sort of became a weekly tradition for us to scope out Vinyl Fantasy 7 <laughs> for new releases. Is that what it's called? Vinyl Fantasy? 
That's clever. In quieter days, I'll go to the coffee spoons just to hang out with him. He's been trying to get me to branch out from my usual black coffee to try new drinks, and they're always delicious. Since I've been spending so much time with Matt, Carmen Sita and Amanda have really become close friends. Amanda's taking Carmen Sita under her wing, teaching her about photography, helping her with homework, and introducing her to music that's not just boy bands. Well, she did end up taking her to one of those scream cry dancing boy concerts so Matt wouldn't have to go. A truly heroic move. I can tell that Carmen Sita really looks up to her a lot, so it's great that Amanda's trying to be a good mentor. The open mic night is tonight. Amanda and I busy ourselves getting ready. I try to pick out a nicer outfit than, than usual and pace around the room. A bunch of people of really cool bands are going to be playing and I'm excited to see them. I haven't been to a show since the first time Matt and I hung out. It's weird, ever since Matt played piano for me that one time, I've never been able to convince him to do it again. He's told me that he's also he also plays guitar, drums, and even trumpet. He still won't play any of them though. For, for someone so passionate about music, it's strange that he doesn't want to actually play it. You ready to go, Pops? I can hear Amanda in the hallway as she approaches my room. Yup! Amanda pops her head in and looks me over. She pinches the bridge of her nose. Dad, we talked about this. What? Hmm. Sandals. They're older than I am. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Sandals, what are you talking about? 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 What is? Vintage? Some would argue. Oh, no. I thought you threw them out. Amanda, since, you, since when did you enroll in the Fashion Police Academy? Mm. I got kicked out because I was a loose cannon who didn't play by the rules. For example, you're not allowed to mix floral, but you totally I can if, but you totally can if you have a good eye for color. You're out of, you're out of your jurisdiction, rookie. Amanda guards the door until I pick out a better outfit. Stop. Ugh. Those saddles are going directly into the evidence locker. What's the- It's the trash. Uh, is there anything about this? I'll do it. Okay, hold on. Uh, I propose a compromise. I keep the sandals, but won't wear them tonight. Then we have this exact same argument the next time I try to pull them out. Dad. I guess. <laughs> Come on, Dad. We gotta go. Huh. I've never seen a coffee shop so packed. Coffee spoon so packed. I spot familiar faces from the pub concert, all sipping on their caffeinated beverages of choice. A couple of uh, people are setting up, setting up on stage. I don't see Matt, but I'm sure he's busy in the back. Amanda and Carmen Sita find each other and immediately do their secret handshake. Some complicated clapping with their hands and a big hug. Enrique! I turn to see Hugo sitting at the table with none other than Damien. Fancy seeing you two here. I am, as you know, a dedicated patron of the arts. Madonna, it's your favorite. <laughs> oh. It's a bit of a tradition between Damien and I now. Matt's open mic nights always seem to be to bring out the best talent in town. Sometimes. Sometimes it gets a bit odd, even for my admittedly and it's a eclectic, eclectic takes. You guys see Matt around? Mm. Yeah, he was just helping that Pablo kid with some equipment out of his van. Uh. Whoa, Vacant Vale is playing a set? Um. What? It's a uh, wish house. <laughs> Damon's ears perk. What is that? I don't know. Oh. Well, it sounds delightful. Amanda says it isn't. Oh. Shame. All right, I'm gonna go find Matt and see if he needs any help. Head, back, head to the back room of the coffee spoon where I find Matt going over some last minute show details with Pablo. Bup, 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 bup. <laughs> I always know when it comes on. <laughs> My dude! Pablo and I share a full on sincere bro hug. Oh. Thought he could make it, Enrique. Wouldn't miss it for the world, man. You guys need any help? Hey. Uh, I think we're all set, actually. <clears throat> Pablo, can you remind me of what order people are going up in? Well, you got the handsome and unforgettable Vacant Veil vale opening up with a set of selections from his new album, Witch Diaries, and then the third waves, who are extremely attractive and could beat me up and I'd still be able I'd still be into it, are playing a three person acoustic set. Got a little bit of spoken word in there, a magic act, and it looks like we're closing with Jonathan Jones and the Speakeasy Choir. No, absolutely not. I remember the ridiculous set that the band put on when they opened up for the pup. Sometimes when it's quiet, I can still hear the sound of the accordion being finally thrown against the wall over and over. They weren't that bad. Hmm. No, you don't understand. The last time they played open night, they lit their bases on fire and the fire marshal had to shut us down. Hmm. They also refused to pay for their drinks. Yikes. What? They are not playing tonight. Well, they're outside, all 17 of them. 17? Hey. Tell them we're full. And who's filling their spot? Hmm. Uh... I'll, I'll do it. I'll play. What are you doing? <laughs> what? What would you even do? Stop talking. Close your mouth. The Communist Manifesto is making a comeback solo show. I thought you didn't know how to play anymore. You don't know how to play anything anymore. <laughs> Scott comes to you in the hour when you need the most. Without fail. What was that? Stop being so desperate to please your hot friend, Enrique. Is there a keyboard around? Your, under, your unending thirst will be your ultimate downfall. Yeah, I have one right here. Then it's settled. Mm. Dude, are you sure? No, I'm not. 
As sure as Ska is generally played with staccato notes on the upbeat. Well, as long as nothing gets on fire, it can't possibly be worse than Jonathan Jones in the Speakeasy Choir. Matt grabs me by the shoulders and stares into my eyes. Thank you, Enrique. I owe you big time. I settle back in my seat with Amanda and watch the show start. The house is packed now, with a few people even standing outside to watch. What have I gotten myself into? Amanda, I may have made a mistake. Dad, if you bought a brand new pair of those sandals in hopes that I would be okay with you wearing them, I swear to- I agreed to pull out my ska. No. Absolutely not. I had to, to help Matt. Dad, I love you and I support you, but we left Ska behind for a reason. Look, it's either this or we're in the splash zone for a group of 20 musicians all crying at the same time for the sake of art. And I'm not being hyperbolic about the splash zone thing. They literally had to hand out ponchos. Somehow this is, prefer this is the preferable option. I just have to play the thing. Play what thing? You don't know how to play any instruments. Hey, hey, come on now. Damien, yes! Yes, Madonna, Damien! <laughs> we'll get to him, we'll get to him. We'll get to him. Just promise me you'll still love me after this. I promise. Mm. But I may have to change my last name, and I hope you'll understand. Of course. Mm. My new last name is going to be Fireblast. Amanda. Mm. Or maybe Cold Steel. Matt takes the stage to uplo to roar of applause from the crowd. You grab some mind addresses, that's all. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming out to tonight. Matt's still nervous. And I'm still nervous. I can't stop staring at his mouth, and it makes me even more nervous. <laughs> we have a jam-packed roster for of local amazing talent. Uh, who you who might already know or maybe have not seen before, but we'd like to see again, and I'm rambling now, sorry. Oh, Matt. So, um, let me bring on a dear friend of mine who's making his live show debut. Please welcome to the stage. They can fail. The crowd cheers again, and Pablo bounces up to the stage, beaming. He sets up his two loud tiles and keyboard and launches into his set. Thank you, everyone. This one's called this one is called Witch House Never Dies, and you're next. Pablo hits the crowd with a heavy, inaccessible synth bass layered under drum samples and clips from science fiction shows played in reverse. It's maybe not the right show for this, but everyone seems to be enjoying whatever this is. At the end of the song, Pablo jumps on the mic. Thank you to all the veil wearers who came out tonight. A portion of the crowd cheers. He has a fan base already? He has a name for the fan base? This is his first live show. You can buy t-shirts out in the trunk of my car after the show. Also, I'd like to thank my mom for coming out to watch me play. You're my rock, ma. Love you, honey! Pablo plays a few more songs that are actually super fun to listen to. Wow, definitely did not see that coming, especially after Amanda's strongly worded thoughts about the genre. Once he's done, he vacates the stage and Matt jumps back up again. Big round of applause for our very own Pablo, who coincidentally works here. Yay, Pablo! And hey, uh, next up are a group of young ladies who have been tearing up the East Coast with Ride Punk for three, three tiers now. Years, I mean years, three years, sorry. The writing on my hands smudged because I'm sweating. I shouldn't have told you I'm all sweating, I'm sorry. Uh, wow, he seems just as visibly nervous as, as I feel right now. Put your hands together for... The Third Waves! Buzzcut Molly from Vinyl Fantasy 7 takes the stage, followed by two girls with colorful hair and fishnet stockings. Wow. Uh, all of them are wearing combat boots and all of them look mad about something. <laughs> Their set is so energetic that it almost seems like the pit is gonna open up in the coffee shop. I look over to Amanda, who's clearly enjoying the heck out of this out of anar anarchic, anar anarchic female fronted punk rock. Mm -hmm. Dad, can I get a lip ring? Sure, if you pay for it yourself. Ugh. Come on, it's not fun if it's not an act of youthful rebellion. Yeah. After the third wave closes out their set, a variety of acts play to the delight and sometimes horror of the crowd. The musician tries to turn a cup into a cof a cup of coffee into a cup of coins, but ends up just spilling hot coffee all over himself and dropping the coins. Each act as each act leaves the stage, I get more and more nervous. There are so many people here. I don't know anything about how to play the piano other than it has keys and you have to touch the keys to make sounds. Also, I almost spilled the flat white strip on in my hands because it's trembling so much. No joke, Dad. I'm rooting for you. You're gonna knock him dead. Thanks, man, Panda. An improv comedy group takes the stage. It takes suggestions from the crowd and ends up doing a scene that was supposed to be about coffee and instead turns about turns into five minutes of pe of penis jokes. Classic. I have a hard time laughing. My stomach is trying to knock his. <laughs> my stomach is tying into itself into knots. Not just regular knots either. Like the kind of knots you get when you throw your phone charger, headphones, and laptop charger in the same bag. Out of nowhere, Matt sits down next to me. Hey, are you doing okay? Everything's totally fine. Everything's great. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> uh, everything's great. I want to reassure him that I'm okay, but I just can't get the words out. I'm here. All right, just making sure. I know you're going to do great, Enrique. Matt squeezes my shoulder and jogs back up to the stage. Everybody, we're down to the last act of the night. Now this person, who is my friend, is making their return to the stage after a long hiatus. Please welcome, formerly, formerly of the Scommunist Manifesto, Enrique Grubus. Everyone cheers as I take the stage. Damien and Hugo are staring at me in shock. Uh, hey everyone, good to be here. Thanks for having me on, great crowd. Um, my name is Enrique, but you can call me by my stage name. What is it? Thomas... Thomas Kalnoki. 
The crowd claps. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Matt's just like, yes. The crowd claps politely. I sit down at the piano. That's a lot of keys. That's so many keys. Do pianos usually have this many keys? God, these slides are really bright. Someone coughs. I guess, uh, I guess that's some good stage matcher. And now I have to play a song. The song's called Beam Me Up, Scotty. Deep breath. How hard can it be? Oh, what? This is a minigame? No matter how disastrous this is, I have to take, I have to, I have to make it through the whole song and I have to save the day. Here goes nothing. Tickle um, that ivory. Tickle that ivory? Um, um, please sing along. Ooh, singing a scar to unity, unity. Watch us fill up the room. Rude boys coming for you. Take warning. If you don't stay tonight, it'll be alarming. Oh, I. Uh. Everybody, Ska. Beat me up, Scotty. You're skanking. Beat me up, Scotty. Beat me up to the Ska Trek Enterprise. Tail solo. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, look at this! Give me the Beethoven, eat your heart out! Bravo! Is that like you get an S? Doing your best deserves an S. I really did do my best. <laughs> oh man, I love that. I love that so much. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I look up at the crowd, I see a bunch of people shifting in their seats. Oh no, I'm losing them. Scott really is dead, and I killed it. <laughs> Everybody Scott? Everybody Scott! Like a checkerboard tie wearing angels descending from two-tone heaven, Mac walks on stage playing the guitar. We look eyes and he gives me a reassuring smile as he effortlessly plays the chords of the song. I look out and see the crowd go wild to Matt's appearance on stage. Everyone's bouncing around now. It feels like with renewed energy as I, we, jump into the chorus. Hey. Beat me up, Scotty! Beat me up, Scotty! Beat me up, Scotty, to the Scott Trek Enterprise! Matt jumps into an improvised solo that was way better than the one Darren Sh Springsteen wrote in high school. We make it to the end of the song in one piece and the crowd goes wild. I'm moist with sweat head to toe. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Sella. The crowd practically streams. They all start chatting Matt's name. Oh. They want to hear you play, man. Oh. Matt smiles. Oh. I think I'm ready. I excuse myself from the stage and take my seat next to Amanda as Matt cozies up to the microphone. I take what I said about Ska. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I high five Amanda and we look toward the stage. Hey, hey everybody. More cheers. I haven't played in front of people in a long time, but it's cool to be back. Hey. This one goes out to a good friend. Matt locks eyes with me. Hey. We both smile. Who helped me be able to do this again. Hey. Thank you. Hey. This is an old one from Stillness the Dancing. The entire crowd excitedly jumps to their feet. Matt closes his eyes and starts playing an upbeat, intricate melody. The crowd sways to the music. Matt looks entirely at peace with a small smile on his face as he sings. After he finishes his song, the crowd insists on an encore. He ends up playing a few more tunes from, to an adoring audience before thanking everyone for coming out. The moment he steps off stage, he gets mobbed by people. Everyone seems to be amazed that he's playing again. Hey. Damien and Hugo... Hey, Damien, what's up? <laughs> and Hugo tried their way through the crowd to talk to me. Oh. That was amazing! Mm. It was certainly a sight. Did they make industrial dark wave ska? <laughs> I'm not too sure if that genre exists, but it's never too late to start a band, apparently. I glance back over at Matt, who's hugging a bunch of people. They really seem to seem excited to see him play. Um, well, yeah, he hasn't played since he lost Rosa. What? Oh. I didn't realize. It suddenly all makes sense why Matt was so reluctant to play. It must have taken so much for him to jump on stage with me just now. The crowd slowly filters out of the street as the show ends. I decide to stick around a little longer to see if I can talk to Matt. Huh? Hey, I'm taking Carmencita out to ice cream. Is it okay if she sleeps over? We're gonna paint our nails and start a punk band. Yeah, go have fun. Just please don't wake up the neighbors with any biting truths about the government or whatever. Don't worry, we'll wake them up figuratively instead. <laughs> wake up, sheeple. Amanda and Carmen Sita bump fists and head out. I spot Matt finishing up conversations with a couple of stragglers on the way out of the coffee shop. Hey, Matt. Hey, hey dude. Need help closing up? Oh. oh. I love that. Matt and I stack out chairs and sweep the floor in silence. We carry the stage. Ooh, I know this music. We carry the stage equipment back to Matt's van, where we see Paul selling merch to a crowd of people out of his trunk. Shirts of the finest quality, every step of production from threads. 
From set to stitch, I was seen by yours truly. Graphic decides to fit a king. Ba -ba -da -da. That kid's gonna go far. We head back into the coffee spoon, and Matt pulls, puts the finishing touches on, clo on closing. When we're all done, Matt and I lean up against the counter. Thanks for saving me from myself up there. Hey. All, all in all, it ended up pretty cute. What? Pussy protected us from Jonathan Jones of the Speakeasy Choir. Someone told me that they tried to do a street performance down the road, and they got arrested by trying to form a human pyramid in traffic. Did it feel good to be on stage again? Hey. Oh. Yeah, it really did. I, um, I heard that you stopped playing after your wife died. I didn't realize it had been that long. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, Matt looks like he wants to say something, but he's having a hard time getting it out. He takes a deep breath. I don't know if I should. I mean, I'm not really I don't know if I should. a people person, um, obviously. Crowds make me nervous as hell, which is uh, not exactly the best for performing live music. But when I was with Rosa, she lit up the room. I could follow her lead. After she passed, I was lost, even touching a guitar hurt too much. I tried playing for people over and over, but the music would never come out. So I just gave up. I guess what I'm trying to say is, life wasn't this scary when I had someone in my corner. Someone I felt safe with. I um, hadn't felt like that in a long time. Hmm. Until tonight. What changed? Hey. You. Blood rushes to my face. Hey. When I saw you looking so scared on stage, you reminded me of myself, and I don't want anyone else to have to feel that bad. Hey. But when I got up there and started playing for the first time in forever, I felt uncom I felt comfortable. I was having fun. I, I had spent all this time being so afraid of performing that I forgot how much I loved it. Hey. Your strength gave me strength. Whenever you were trying or not, whether you're trying to or not, you got me out of my comfort zone. So thank you. Hey. Thank you for helping me realize that I could do this. I'm glad I could help. You coming on stage, I didn't think you would stick your neck out like that, for me like that, especially considering all of this. It really means a lot to me. Oh. Well, you mean a lot to me. Matt and I lock eyes. He leans in and kisses me, quick and soft. He pulls away and covers his mouth. Huh? Oh god, I'm sorry. I, uh, sorry. I can't believe I just did that. Hmm. Neither can I, but hmm. I'm glad you did. Our lips touch again. I brush his hair out of the way and rest my hand on the small, on, on the small of his back. On the small? Is that, a, is that a saying? <laughs> on the small of his back. <laughs> Love these dads, hell yeah. <laughs> yes, Madonna. Yes. Matt pulls me closer. Everything about him is sweet and soft. His lips taste like vanilla. He smells like coffee cake. I can feel his smile through the kiss, which makes me smile. He laughs into my mouth, and I can't help but laugh too. Our teeth knocking against each other. Ow. The moment I open my eyes, I realize we're still leaning against the espresso machine. Maybe the coffee shop is the right place for this. Maybe you're right. Hey. Let's go back to my place. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Day complete. Da, 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 da. Nice. How many dad points is that? A lot of dad points. Boom. That was the Holland 1945 date. Nice. You said it, boy. Imagine dad is just part of being an adult. Ah, oh, dad. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I'm loving it. I think it's her car in the driveway. Okay, gotta act natural. Be cool. There we go. Be cool. Okay, uh... Sorry, sweet. It's the feds. Uh, the box set. <laughs> Surprise! You told me not to make a big deal. Graduation party. Surprise! Everyone's here! Mac and cheese bar. The first mac and cheese. Enrique, my dude! Pablo, how's the shirt business going? My bud, I got men's shirts, I got women's shirts, I got tank tops in a variety of sizes, shapes, and colors. Each one of them is fine quality, screen printed with the logo and visage of world-renowned witch house hunter, witch house outfit, Vacant Veil. Purchable at most receptible retailers, but more specifically, out of the trunk of my car. I'm also selling my mom's world-famous homemade apple butter. Never stop hustling, Pablo. Baby, you got it. Enrique, Brian, you made it. Hey. Ah, I don't pass up on a good Mac. What do you think of the party? It's not bad. Yeah, we've seen this before. It's not bad. Hi, Daisy. Bro. Bro. What's up, man? Dude. Well, see you later. <laughs> Here comes me to play a mac ah. and cheese. The perfect cheddar to mac ratio. Beautiful work, Enrique. Thanks, Hugo. You know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda going to her dream school. I'm glad she turned out, turned it around for finals. Me too. That scholarship money will really help. Amanda walks by and pretends to not see Hugo. Amanda, come say hi to your old teacher. Hey. Okay, we've seen this before. Oh. Hey, thanks. Ah. Hey, Robert, good stuff. See you later. Oh, I didn't read that. Yeah, thanks, dude. Good cake. I stare at Lucian. He knows. I know. But I am a man of my word. The story of his oregano betrayal will go unsung. Thanks for coming by. I spot Amanda and Carmen sees in the corner of the party. 
I wonder what they're up to. As I walk up, I can tell that they're already deep in conversation. Listen, it's like prison rules. First day of high school, you gotta establish yourself like at the top of the, pe of the pecking order. Really? No, just find a group of people you like and then hang out with them. Be yourself, don't worry about being cool. You'll find friends. And try not to kiss anyone who also has braces. You get stuck, kiddo. Hey guys. Hey Amanda's dad. Carmentina's here is getting ready for high school. Got any advice? When you join band, pick the easiest instrument to carry. I'm still walking a little sideways from my sousaphone days. <sighs> Fluid it is. Yeah. Alright, I'll leave you guys to it. Carmentita, me and Amanda still on for dinner with you and your pops tonight? Yes, we're already planning a carrot cake for you guys. Uh, you better keep making rounds. At least, at least the two keep uh, conspir conspiring. Party one's down. Pure party pops. So she got me something. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I take a seat next to Matt as the last gets... Guests make their way out of the party. Hey. Seems like Amanda really enjoyed this. Thanks for putting together such a nice surprise. I see this middle school graduation is coming up in a year or two. I'm sure for the right fee I could put something together. <laughs> Only if I get to DJ. Matt looks down at his hands. It seems like he does that whenever he's trying to figure out the right words to say. Oh. Hey, I just wanted to say that. Oh. oh gosh, this is gonna come out dumb no matter how I say it. So here it goes. Hey. I haven't felt this happy in a long time. Whoa, oh, man. You, you brought out the best of me. And it wasn't just because of the ska. Although that was really cute. Hey. Every moment that we've gotten to spend together since we've met has been an adventure, and I just hope that we get to keep doing that. We make a pretty good team, you know? I mean, I'll let you handle the music play, and the music singing, and the actual pretty much everything related to music, but I can organize a, a party pretty well. I'm also good at kissing, so that's a big plus. Hey. <laughs> that's true, you're very nice to kiss. I slide my arm around Matt and run my fingers through his hair, giving him a small kiss on the cheek. He giggles. Hey. See, that was a good one. And hey, I've actually been working on some new stuff. It feels really great to be writing again. Oh man, Matt, that's amazing. I'd love to listen to it sometime. If, I mean, if you were comfortable sharing it with me. Maybe I could show you some, some new tunes I've been working on in the studio later. You know, I'm gonna insist that we add a horn section. Matt rests his head on my shoulder and sighs happily. <laughs> <sighs> you know what? I actually like that. Yay! We did it! That's it? Yeah! Ooh! Mmm, you got boys. <laughs> uh, I, I can tell the stream's lagging a little bit for you. They're lagging behind a little bit for you, uh, Madonna. But, we did it. That's, that's Matt sending. It's awesome. Daddy. Oh, look at that. There he is. Yes. Yes, boy. Look at him. Look at my baby. Ah, oh, so hot. So handsome. Look at that. Back into the guitar once again. Nice. I ended up at the right time, too. <laughs> All right. So, that was Two Endings of Dream Daddy. And I think that's a good place to end it off. Unfortunately. <laughs> so, I've been shooting for quite a while. I need to get some lunch. Dream daddy is gonna be your dream. Da 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 the dream, Daddy. This is gonna be, this is gonna be, dream, Daddy. Oh, who's gonna be? When will I find my dream, Daddy? Madonna, the time, the time for your dream, Daddy, will come soon enough, and I promise it'll be glorious. 
and you both will be happy. It'll be like a fairy tale ending. We want it. It'll, it'll be. He'll be just like. He'll be just like Damien, and he'll he'll be very. He'll be he'll be he'll be very sweet to you. I'm sure. So I think. I think that'll actually do it. For this stream of Dream Daddy, unfortunately. I, I know I had, to, I, had to, I had to stop it. I had to stop it. But at, it comes to a point where you date enough dads and, you know, you got you to gotta, you gotta keep it fresh after a while. You got to keep it fresh and new. So we're going we're gonna to end off here. And thank you, Madonna, for being the uh, <laughs> most active person here on the stream. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you watching. And uh, I, I know you only... I know it's it, it, just because it's Dream Daddy you came here to see. <laughs> but... I, re I, I really appreciate it. I appreciate you coming here. The stream's like in some places. Okay. Uh, I guess I will end it off there. I'll end this off. Let's play, let's play the outro. I had a lot of fun with this stream. This was this one was a lot of fun. A lot of people. A lot, I appreciate. I appreciate everybody who came out to watch the stream, and I really love you guys. Thank you for all the support. And tomorrow we'll be doing another stream. I, I don't know exactly what we'll be doing. Uh, maybe some more Mario rabbits. Uh, and I'll I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and you guys, you guys are you guys are awesome. I can't I can't wait to get back into creating content. Yeah, but the streaming here is a lot of fun as well. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, if you want to see more, like, comment. If you're on YouTube while watching this, share with a friend. Consider subscribing or following me on Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube. Uh, and on YouTube, hit the bell down there to become notified. -er. And until then, fight the peace, my friends. Stay awesome. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time. I'll see you all tomorrow for another stream. Bye. Here it comes. Here comes this thing. Oh, oh, oh. Ah!